Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And we have some new Atari games Yay! today for the 2600. <laughs> awesome. Da, da, da. Three new games, in fact. We are Three. going to be playing Packline times eight from Thomas Yanch. <laughs> uh, eight player Packline. Eight players at once. Eight? player pack line yes remember, wow. his, remember his vroom oh yes 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 he's made pack line eight oh, times wow. we're also going to be playing that's the world premiere of that uh we're also going to be playing the exclusive final build of flap ninja which is really really new um and also the exclusive final build of Frazzled. I always like to guess on what the game is based on the name. Is <laughs> Flap Ninja like Flappy Bird, but it's a ninja flying? Yep. Oh, Somebody okay. named their game correctly. Very. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, we're also going to be playing the... Yay, Robot Zed! Retail release of Robot Zed. <laughs> I've neglected this for some reason. I love this game, but um, we haven't played it in a long time. And it was released last year at prge so it is time to play it in the box is it not in sync let's just fix that i blame the cat <laughs> oh let's hi. just disconnect oh and hi oh my goodness and see if that works oh now there's a cat it's going to appear and blank and a it's a magic trick Yay! and there's a cat hopefully it's in sync um, sometimes it needs gotcha. a little kick because gotcha. it uh, misbehaves. I caught you. You jumped right in my arms. You can't go now. Oh, he's annoyed. Oh. Are you annoyed? I know. I know. You can go. You can go. Poor little kitty. If you want to. Um, so, um, before we get to the games, we're going to thank all the Twitch subscribers. <gasps> Good. It matches with the video. <clears throat> Excellent. Thank you for reporting that. Uh, Abipod, Andrea, Atari, Atari, 800XL rules. They're scrolling right down there. Right here. Uh, Atari, 1974, Atari, 8, Beer, Brutus X, Captain Class, Charles Spawny, Mile, Charles Willen, Chitlala, Sierra Rebo, Dianoid, Dan, if you see Dr. Moo Cows, uh, Dr. Webster, new name, nice. Gamma Dev, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Araldo, Arju, uh, John W.C., Kabuto Coder, Carl G. Karakak, Croco 20, Scott, Velt, Verlande, Saras, Mad Max, Mandy, Sippy, T. Mark, Anis, Mike, Spacing, Metal, Atari, Mike, Muse, Mike, Saul, Mike, Dumb, Mr. Fix, Nathan, Storm, Nina, Mina, Nostalgia, Pseudographic, Quag, Render, Ghost, Repentless, VG, Revan, Tulis, Mitty, B, Spice, Wars, Spinly, S, Ramirez, D, Train, Tiki, Dan, K, Teet, Foes, Trek, M, D, Tweeny, Vex, Rex, VVG, Double Down, X, King, X, X, and Zombie, Alice. Yay! And as yeah. per usual, I always find out that my subscription has expired. It's uh, lapsed. <laughs> when, so sad. When I'm watching the show. So yeah, there you go. and your name isn't read out. I know. But if you want your name, unlike her name, uh, is in there. But yeah. if you want your name on that list over there mm -hmm. and me to read it out, just hit subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime. Oh, treat time. Thank you. There was a treat there time? There was a treat time trigger before the show. Oh, so accidentally? we will get to that. Okay. We will get to um, We have a poll question. And so we'll do the poll question. Yeah. And then we'll do the treat time okay. so that people can answer the poll. While they're watching while the treats. The, while they're doing the treat okay. time. Okay. Fair I enough. I mean, they do have to answer the poll and then <laughs> bid, on, bid on or uh, bet on the cat. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let me tell you, Tanya, the rush of hearing your yes. name read out is not to oh, be Oh, when missed. it's not read out and you're like, <gasps> oh, what no. What have I done? <laughs> It's not there. <laughs> it's kind of like when you take your wedding band off like, and then oh you're God. like, oh, no, I'm not I've married anymore. It. What happened? <laughs> yes. Unmarried. Uh, let's start the poll. What is limiting your game or console collecting habit? Uh, one, space. Two, money. <laughs> Three, desire for doing it. Mm. Four, cohabitants. <laughs> um, five, other specify. So uh, it's a hundred percent space for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I have ran out. I, I see a lot of it's ones to yeah. the rafters. Oh, you have to specify D train. Yeah, What's your other space money. One 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 one, one 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 Yeah, <laughs> I retire collections is spamming the ones. Yeah, space space and money. Fatoko mm. limiting limit. There is no limit. I guess you could put five and say there is no limit. Yeah, I ha I'm unbridled. I am <laughs> collecting like a madman. Uh, okay, so let's start up the... Uh, Common sense is pseudographics. <laughs> that's another one. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. At makes some sense. point you have to say, do I really need Oh, more? need is doesn't come into the equation. 
<laughs> Five yeah. availability nostalgic. So sometimes you're you're, you're chasing things that That's really true. realistically you're not going to find. That okay, is true. Okay, so yeah. we wanted to switch this up a bit. We wanted to double the time. Oh, for treats. Yes. Okay. Okay. So what should we do for the numbers to make five um, categories? So we have five categories. Um, yeah. Should we just double them all? That'd be one through ten. And we'll do two minutes. Ten seems like a lot for two minutes. Uh, two minutes. One Do we need five categories? I guess you have to uh, set up better. for five categories. It's better. We don't have to have five. One through hmm. six. Then seven, eight. I don't know. And nine, I need to ten. do like a statistical study and see multiple times over how many he eats. Here we go. We're, do, we're gonna do this. One okay. through six, then okay. seven and eight, then nine and ten. Oops. One that. through six is... Uh, I, I feel like... That's too much? Make it one through five. Oh, okay. Keep it at five. Okay. One through five, six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven. Eight, nine. Eight, nine. 10, 11, and then 12 plus. 12 plus. Yeah. I feel good. like that's reasonable because I feel like he's more likely going to end up in. We want we we want to aim for the average to be the middle. Yeah. Oh, okay. time. No time to collect. Things. No time. That's that another too. one. Yeah. yeah. There's lots, lots of, of reasons. Lots of, <laughs> lots lots of, of excuses reasons. not to buy games. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Beer Pocock. What I don't have presently are the home computers mostly with oh, keyboards oof. and all, so space hogging. That yes. is that is very space hogging. They take up a lot of, a yeah. lot of space. So it's time to bet on Atari. He is a raring. Well, he's not yet because I have to do a re ring. Re ring. And the person who triggered it is Kabuto Coder. Oh, thank nice. Thank you so much. I also want to thank uh, Rendered Ghost for resubscribing Yay. and Carl G Yay. before the show. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's get uh, the cat excited. So we are now in prediction mode. Yeah, so So predict. you can put your predictions in for how many treats you think Atari will eat in two minutes. Yes. Using Rick. the bell. Ring the bell and eat. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. Yep. Yum, yum, yum. There you go. Yeah, you're in treat mode now. It's over. He's in treat mode, so let's get out the bell. Get out the treats. Yep. Oh, thank you for Yay, resubscribing. Thank you. Geraldo Ju, 26 months. Oh, my God. Oh, look at... Thank oh, you so much. Wow, well, okay. it's going crazy. Yeah. Go, screen, go. It is Puss and Bats time. Puss and Bats, Puss and Bats. You've got about 30 seconds left to predict. Oh, nobody's going for 12 plus. Oh, that might be a bit high. in two minutes. Nobody's going for 1.5. So if you want to get yep. in the last second and get those outliers, you only have to put 10 down. Yes. You only, yeah, you don't need to, to, to don't have to bet the bank. Bet a ton of points. If you've been yep. watching for a few minutes, you probably probably already have 10 points. So, so. just click predict at the top and mm -hmm. then pick a category about 10, 15 seconds left. Mm -hmm. Fill in those 12 plus and one through five. Oh, everybody's going for 10 and oh, 11. Six to seven. Oh. There's uncovered bets. Oh. First time. So, Tari, if you do really well or really poor, <laughs> we're going to find out if the house just gets it all back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that what happens? Does the house win? I guess so. Oh, interesting. I guess so. Huh. Or maybe it all goes back. Hmm. Uh, I've never, I've, we haven't encountered that situation. I bet the house wins. You think the house yeah. wins? Yeah. Do we get it? Well, we have or does it disappear we have into the ether? We have infinite already, so well, that's it true. would technically disappear <laughs> into the ether. Can I get it? No. <laughs> now, there's um, a two-minute stop watch, but I don't know why it's not showing up there. It's supposed to oh, show Oh, you up. still have the Sprite and Atari Bell Wars there. Yeah, it's to keep track. I haven't yeah. changed it. We'll reset that. Okay. But I can't... I can't... I've put it on the screen. The timer is there. Oh, you know what? Okay, it's not focused on the right thing. Okay, we're, we'll get it figured out. Is that going to work? We're going to get the timer on there. Nope, still not still not on there? No. Look how brilliant that Atari 2600 looks in the lights. <laughs> it's reflecting perfectly. Ooh, it looks like it's glowing. Nice. 
Okay, wow. well, you'll just have to listen for the beeps. Yeah, and it's two-minute timer. As soon as he starts ringing the That's bell, weird. so it's a guaranteed of one. Okay. One ring already. Okay, you ready? He's purring. Is he? <laughs> he's, very, oh, he's very excited. He's very happy. He likes okay. the bell. Okay, you ready? Okay, get yeah. ready. I'm ready to start. Ring the bell. There All we right. go. That's it's the off. first one, and the time is off. The time has started. Two minutes. I'll get the timer on the screen next time. I, I did include it. So that was one. That's one. Oh, that's right. That's two. We've got two on the board. Ding, ding. Working his way up to try and get past five. I think he's easily going to surpass five. Oh, harder. There three. we go. That's a three points. We're down to one minute 30. So he's done three in 30 seconds yeah so it's quite quite easily to pass five but yeah. there could be problems yeah. there could be not four? today four <laughs> has to do two more to get out of this uh, one through five wow. go kittens go you've got a just a minute and 10 seconds left there All we go right, he's the at next. five we're going to surpass the uh one where nobody how, how... bet on how big his stomach is. Yeah, and he's at five at a minute. Yeah, so definitely okay. a, a one minute wasn't enough. To, oh, six. Here six. we go. He's into the next bracket. Next bracket. Now there's some winners out there. <laughs> Will he make it to 12? He That's got a good six. question. I don't think so. Seven? Seven. There we go. Crunch, crunch, crunch it crunch, up. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Will he make it into the next bracket? He's got 37 seconds left. He's going to make it to eight and nine. Oh, he seems uninterested. No, he's going back for more. He's eight. at eight. He's made it into the next bracket of eight and nine. <laughs> and I think that was a low bet. It was the uh, 10 and 11 was a big yeah. was the biggest one. You've got 18 seconds. Oh, it's a slow. Oh, there we it's go. Nine. Nine. All right. All right, all right, all okay, right. Okay, you need just one more. And he's made it into the big bracket. He's got eight seconds left. Not the top one yet, though. Five, no, four, three, three two, two one. one. Oh, all done. Couple for good it's measure all at the end. Over. Nine points nine for Atari. Points. So who picked nine? We'll see. All right. Oh, I have to wash my hands. Sorry. Yep, that's perfectly fine. Yep. I will dole it out. <laughs> who wins? Who, who wins? wins? Choose the outcome. Eight and nine. There we go. The winner, two people, Vitoko and Prow7. Yay! Congratulations, Vitoko. You won the big prize. I think Vitoko it's knows. I think it's evenly split between Vitoko and Prow7. Perfect. Congratulations. Vitoko so knows. that's not bad. He landed right in the middle. Is <laughs> kind of where you want to be. Yeah. And to have the outliers of if he's really good. Do you think he could make it up to 12? I think he could. I think he could with a good streak. He was streak. a little slow. He started faster and got slower. Yep, and uh, yep. But no, I think he definitely could. Yep. Couldn't you? Yes. So we'll could. keep it at that. And we'll see what happens <laughs> next time. Good yeah. kitty. Yeah. Maybe you'll get a second one later in the show. Would you like that? Oh, that'll be mm, interesting because People know. he'll be a little bit more full. So uh, you might adjust downwards. If he was hungry, he could. Yeah. yeah. That's true. He's always hungry. Yeah. Just give him... 15 minutes he'll be he'll be, be ready to go he'll be again ready to go okay yeah um so let's see what people voted on space mm. is the number one space people don't have the space and that's i'm i'm not remotely surprised by I'm that i'm actually gonna add my vote into there oh, which is there space go. as well yeah to the rafters full <laughs> in this room and i can't really go outside this room with stuff yeah uh, i have some modern consoles and modern games outside of the room but... i like i like that no one threw their cohabitants under the bus <laughs> some of them might <laughs> be watching a, with them i don't zero. know <laughs> that's true uh desire no everybody uh wants to mm. collect as do i they haven't lost desire in in going no. after those things no. yeah yeah that's fair enough. um and second place it was other so um and various number of various good things. availability common sense <laughs> common sense um number of different things there yeah let's see time time yeah. so much studying. studying yep there you go uh availability time yep a bunch five. of people said buy time. what i want when i want it so double down <laughs> is no problems <laughs> my cohabitant is the stronger nice. collector Ooh. nice yeah two collectors very very dangerous mm. luckily you don't collect anything 
No, I'm no. pretty. I'm pretty she brutal when it comes. I you do make, make crafts, but that's not. But I'm pretty brutal that's about making. getting rid of stuff that I don't want around. So yeah, you don't mind doing that. I don't right? mind purging. Yeah. Um, I think it comes from moving a lot. Yeah, you don't have enough space. It's hard to move through, things through across the country. Or my even early twenties and moving across the country and, and being at school, I just like to keep things as light and yeah as possible it does make so, it easier i, I mostly yeah. collect a lot of dust in the house dust. <laughs> dust yeah everywhere. um so i was doing some stuff here so let me know if you hear any buzzing that was happening in the past two episodes mm -hmm. and if you don't hear it i know oh, what it buzzing. is oh there no was a, it was very quiet oh maybe but I'm throw away here. some more <gasps> yeah i only have two crts left you can't throw away more of them uh, um, so I need to keep my two. Still. Yeah. Yeah. Do not throw away those. Uh, I'm just not let throw away any of my stuff. No. Uh, uh, I I threaten, but no, <laughs> no I no. don't throw away his stuff. I just get mad when things spill out into common areas. That's that's common the thing. Areas, I don't yes. care how much he buys, but as long as it has a place. Yes. And and we have. And the place uh, is this room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or we have room. this conversation about should you get offsite storage if you want Never. to buy more that's and he's too much stuff it's well i i that's that's the over limit yeah i know getting... i know so that's the conversation we have yeah. is like it has to have a place oh thank that's you crypto me. coffee yeah. Uh, uh yeah so that's my limiting factor if i want to get more stuff i either have to find more room in this room or purge something or sell something yeah, yeah. and and for the most part i think you've been managed to do that you've had some collections that you've said you know what i don't care so much about this i'll get rid of this and yes. like your sega you had a bunch of sega, sega genesis genesis stuff. games and you went i don't really care about these yeah and it might yeah. be um in television next oh really yeah, yeah i've got a ton of it boxed in television stuff yeah i don't care that much about boxed in television there you stuff. Go. and it's a lot yeah i just don't need it hanging around yeah um and this comes up because we went to the vancouver retro gaming expo on saturday and there was so much stuff there and i'm like i'm not even not even interested in looking at yeah, it we there's, were... there's actually some 2600 stuff there that was kind of not common like yeah. rarish like um it wasn't cheap but um stuff i didn't have oh okay on i didn't see it but that's cool yeah yeah there's like four boxes at the first left table as you turn in oh really uh remember i pointed out there some sears yes pirate, sears, carts? pirate carts yeah 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 yes yeah. Um, there was some decent <laughs> stuff in those bins, yeah. actually. It was, it was pricey. Yeah. I find the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo a touch pricey. Yeah. Um, it's convenient, right? It's all there. Well, there's no shipping. You know, no go Yeah, there's no shipping. Drive it across the border. And I get, and you could haggle and stuff, so. Explain to the border guard what it is. <laughs> oh, what system Old is it games. for? You're too young to know, but, uh. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, uh, how am I going to relate this to yeah, this 30-year-old this border yeah. guard? <laughs> yeah. uh, you know how there's like PlayStation, <laughs> Xbox? Well, about 50 years ago. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. It's just embarrassing. No, it's funny. Um, but we uh, met up with John Hancock there. Yeah, lovely uh, guy. Yeah, talked with him a bunch. Uh, sat, sat, uh, he had a talk. He did a Q&A. That was nice. Watched his talk. Yeah. It was um, more like a lot of uh, about him. Which yeah, was really which was neat, really nice. Because you yeah. get to learn a lot about him. Yeah. Um, it was He's super nice. And I yeah. um, uh, hope to have him on the show live, in person. Maybe. Because he, he yeah. comes every year to the Vancouver Retro Gaming yeah. Expo. So maybe at he some likes point. Vancouver. Yeah, maybe at some point we can have so, him on. So. Yeah, it'd be really nice to have yeah. him here. So maybe yeah. next year. That'd yeah. be very cool. Yeah, John, he is nice. He is really nice. But in his talk, he says he's not nice. Oh, uh, he's. At, at school. He's a teacher. He's a teacher. No, I think he was just saying like I'm. I, he's, he's very, strict. very happy and jovial on the show, and he's like in real life. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a more serious person, right? Yeah. But yeah, no. He, he, we, we run into him all the time. We've spoken yeah. to him many times. Yeah, at he's every a, convention. He's a very, very nice person. Yeah. So we, we, yeah. 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 Hard when I visit guy. Vancouver, can I be on the show? You're from New York. Yeah. <laughs> 
You let me know. I'm, yeah. I'm quite private yeah. <laughs> about, well, you know, things. But yeah. um, if something's happening. Maybe. Yeah. You know, you've been around long enough. Message. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you let me know. Let me know. I know the D train asked if I went to school in the West, in Western Canada. I was just going to say no in the East because that's where I grew up. Yeah. I grew up in Ontario. So. I went to school in the West, in Western Canada. Yes. In the Vancouver area. Yes. Oh, actually, and Calgary too. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Um, no, I think Conan is in uh, Los Angeles, most likely. He broadcasts out of Los Angeles, his podcast. He's still there now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't know him. Uh, yeah. Let us know. Let us know. Yep. Um, and there was an amazing computer section at the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo. Mm. We didn't really have a chance to talk about it on our last last night's broadcast because we were just playing. Uh, you hear the buzzing audio. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Oh, it is very loud. I can't hear it. Is it closer no, to no, you? No, no, we cannot hear it. We cannot hear it. Oh, we cannot? No. Oh, you can see it on the... Oh, sorry, you can see it on... What do you call that? The meter. The meter, yeah. Gish. Still high. Let me unplug some things and see if I can get rid of it. Because there's like three plugs. Everyone's saying they didn't hear it before. Still very loud. There's one more plug under here that connects the XLRs. Mm. Oh, way loud. Now I hear it. I think it's getting it's, worse. It's still there. Oh. oh my god. Okay. That's weird that it suddenly something triggers it. That is super weird. Pat, are you chewing on cords again? Yeah, I think he is. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so hard because I can't I can't monitor it. I can't hear it myself. Just play some loud music and we won't hear it. Where is it coming from? Oh my god. Okay. One more one more thing done plug. It shouldn't be. There's too many wires. Okay. It's lower. Is it gone now? Victory! Yay! And you can hear us still. Okay. Okay. It is, it was, this time anyway, uh, the audio <laughs> box that, uh, it's the fumes from the Jaguar. Yeah. Bad Jaguar. Oh. Okay, now we can continue on with the show. Hello. Okay, uh, there was a computer section there. A uh, very big computer section that had British computers, Japanese mm. computers, mm -hmm. uh, North American computers, and they had a ZX Spectrum 128, mm -hmm. um, a bread, what is it called? Toast rack. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. The C64 is the bread bin. And the, and the ZX Spectrum is the toast rack. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he wouldn't sell it to me. No, it was on, it was all just display. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately. But I'll, I'll get one one day. Yeah. Yeah. It was the, uh, what was it, Chilliwack Retro Gaming Club. Something Re like Retro that. Computing Club. Retro Computing Club, And yeah. so it was all people bringing in the systems they owned from this club. But there were some really, really interesting computers. Was, and they were all running and you could play games on them. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was really, really cool. A bunch yeah. of systems I've never seen yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really um, unusual, um, um, I would say... Uh, systems you don't see very often in North America. Yes, so, yeah. and you got some papercraft. Cool. Oh, I did. <laughs> a ZX Spectrum papercraft that you could possibly do when we played the last game. Oh, you can maybe. Go and bring it down. I can bring it down. I mean, it has to be all cut out and everything. Yeah, but they start. basically gave you something that you could, you could, so you could fold your own ZX Spectrum. <laughs> Play some Pac-Man. Yeah. 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 So uh, we'll be trying to uh, complete Robot Z tonight. So that might be a good uh, time to try and put together the paper craft. Mm. Okay, so it is time for games. And the first game we're going to be playing is Packline Times 8. I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, no pictures. We didn't take any pictures. <laughs> and she asked me, are you going to take pictures? I'm like, no, I'm not going to take any pictures. <laughs> 
Um, I, I take pictures I at, tried. at uh, P, PRG. Yeah. Yeah. It's not it was, a huge thing. We, we we ran around it fairly quickly. Like, we saw a few things. Yeah. yeah. It's got a, a fairly small um, selling area. Like floor. Yeah. A floor. Selling there's, floor. Whatever there's you two call panel it. rooms. Uh, there's also a, a gaming room where they have the people who are playing music there. They had some good musical guests. And uh, they had a costume contest, but we didn't see the costume contest. Mm. Um, so uh, this is an exclusive world premiere. Okay, it's time. For Thomas Yench's Pack Line Times 8. So let's start it up. And this <clears throat> uses uh, the Quadtari down here and eight paddles. But we only have four hooked up because there's only four arms, mm -hmm. four hands to play. There we go. Level one. Now, this is not couch compliant because. Our only input is uh, buttons mm. <laughs> on uh, paddles, mm. and those start the game. Mm. And that's there's no up, down, there's no left, right. Okay. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is Thank you, a cardboard box. Compliant. So here's your two paddles. Here are well, my two left. paddles. And it's just back. Is the button is back and forth, right? Oh, it's party oh! time for kittens. Catnip. Yeah, it is time for another four-player day or eight-player day. Eight-player day. Pick, pick two, right? Oh, you, did you press a button? I didn't. Maybe I pressed a button. Oh well. You can watch demo mode. It's demo mode. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for triggering. Yes, the Crypto catnip. Coffee. Thank you so much. Are you crypto ready? Crypto Coffee is going all out on um, the yeah. emojis or whatever you call oh, them. Oh yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, come I on. love seeing them jump around the screen. Catnip, come on. From Crypto Coffee. Yeah. Thank, thank him. <laughs> <laughs> Put some cat up on a paddle and maybe Atari can play. Oh, yes. yes. The mm -hmm. colors in this game are really, really nice. There's shading on each of the Pac-Men and the ghosts, and each line has its own color associated with it. So it's very, very distinct being able to see. And these uh, these players, this is in like screensaver mode, so the Pac-Man can't die. Mm. Well, you want yeah. to keep them running around. Yeah. That's cute. So we're going to switch okay. over. Okay. Okay. So grab your paddles. Should be interesting. And we'll just play with one right okay. now. So Not two. Yeah. Okay. So let's switch. I guess oh. it's doing its thing. So press the button. I am purple. And oh, it's the, counting down. And the button turns you around. Oops. So we're on level one, so we're slow. Did you die already? What color are you? Orange. Okay. I'm on the second line, purple. Oh, we're up to level five now. Oh, I died. Damn it. Oh, oh, oh that was so stupid. <laughs> you ran right into it. I ran it. right into it. Cool. So. That works really number, well. Really, really well. Oh, number one made it to level 11. Number two. Okay. Each person has their own level. <gasps> That's really cool. Oh it, oh, it cycles through them. Neat. Oh, what? Oh, oh, it's player one. Yeah. It's not line one, line two. Yeah. So it does have orange. I got That's... 309 and you got 232. I was orange. And you got to level eight. I was orange. And not... Oh, oh, okay. A level so 11 and you were pink. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So press the button, start again. Oh, you're doing two. Gonna That's going to try. going to be very hard. It <laughs> very, is. very, very hard. Like impossible. I'm already having issues. 
understanding what the hell's going on. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm already dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm dead too. One of mine's dead. Both of yours are dead? Just fine. Oh, okay. I'm yellow at the top, original color Pac-Man, but I've, I've done because, oh, oh, yeah, because I left the middle ones. Stupidly. <laughs> Power-ups appear in random locations. How does this work? Oh. This is giving vibes of Super Mario 35. Yes, that is a fun game. Yeah. Uh, yeah, startup countdown's good because then it gives people time to opt in or out. Um... Okay, I'll start again. Just one. Oh, doesn't matter. Just concentrate on one. So let's try and get a... And you can start this on a higher level, which we'll take a look at in a second. And it cycles through the scores at the top, too. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it died. C64 owners would be like, I'm brown, you're brown, and you five are purple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Said Spectrum owners wouldn't be able to tell the players apart. Eight yeah. colors. Some of those must be duplicates. Yeah. Uh, is that how? I, I don't know how ZF Spectrum colors work. Yeah, I thought it, I thought it was I thought it was really colorful, and mm. the screen is divided um, by color blocks. Like there's color memory for the screen. Mm. Back from the FL. Oh, how did you do? <laughs> okay, do it again. One, 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 one panel. Right. I'm yellow, Tandy's orange. Oh, don't press it again. No? You'll be out of it. Oh, it, it cancels you? Well, you go off and on by pressing the button. Opting in and out. Ugh, get out of from that side. Come on. Oh, I just... So the secret to these pack line games is that when you get the power up, get the middle yeah. pieces or you're done. Unless you're on like level one or two. It's the only way to survive. Oh, they're so fast now. Yeah, it's almost impossible to get them. Turn so fast. Oh my god, they're so fast. Oh, oh we, we both died, died at the same, same time. time. So you're <laughs> level 20. Really fast. Oh, you made it much higher level. 20. Mm. I made it to um, 16. Mm. But how's our scores? 559 for you, 394 for me. Wow, you did I, really I well. I was able to get the ghost a couple of times on the fast level, so. Uh, Louisiana Voodoo. Do I we know the size of this game? Oh, yeah, sorry. It is a 4K game, of course. Thomas has packed uh, an amazing amount of gameplay into 4K. Mm. Mm. Obviously, a lot of replication in the graphics display. Um, because, really, you just need two characters and yeah. the animation for those characters looks great though oh, looks great i can't looks wait really good so did you say there is a way to play games remotely or no 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 okay no not really no um i think not there's a way to there is a way to play with two um like over emulators Wi-Fi? with two emulators but, okay and you can play like one and two players so there's different starting but not eight? levels that would be so cool oh this one <laughs> Do you think it would work? Technically, <laughs> I'd maybe. I'd love to try it. So there's different starting levels, but there's also fruit. <gasps> there's a fruit level? Yep. So let's start level one with fruit. Okay. Can okay. I? I'm going to try it with Pick two one. again. Oh, you're crazy. I'm just doing one. It's fun. <laughs> I'm yellow. Tanya is purple and orange. So I don't know when the fruit appear. 
haven't seen any yet. Oh, there's some fruit on other people's levels. I haven't gotten any fruit. Oh, there's my first fruit. Yay! Oh. I cannot get the ghost. Oh. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. Oh, I died I cannot already. do two at the same time. Oh, uh, I can't get them. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> Almost. Nope. <laughs> oh, is that a middle one? Is that right in the middle? Did he make one? <sighs> okay, try that there. If you... Well, I, I wouldn't be able to escape if oh. I could get it. Oh. oh. Okay, let's do yep. this again. Opt in. There you go. Yeah, it's too hard to do two at once. Yeah, you just cannot it's fun, concentrate. But it's yeah. too hard. And get you, I'm gonna get you. Really, the only way to kid to get ghosts at higher levels is to wrap around and get them. Yeah, because they're and it just does happen. too fast. Because after a while, they're just faster than you. Uh, he's using um, software collision because I was definitely touching that he, ghost. He, what? I thought I he turned. He turned? So just a, just as I was eating him. Look! Look! I'm, <clears throat> Strawberry. Oh, that was a terrible round. Oh, Hi. Oh, no. Is it every two levels there's a fruit? No, I'm on level 10, and I've only gotten two fruits. Oh, Vitoko, during the Atari Expo Chile, in five weeks, there will be a challenge with my 10-liner version. Oh, nice. I think nice. I'll also try this X8 there. Nice. Ooh, Atari Expo Chile. That sounds that sounds cool. Yeah. <laughs> Are we invited? <laughs> I don't know. Ah. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I can do it. Oh no. Uh, no. Okay. You gotta get the middle ones. Okay. Okay. One more. One more. At one least more. one more. Actually, I'm gonna play the purple one. Okay. The purple one's cute. How much of room did uh, Thomas adapt for this? Well. Probably not a ton other than maybe the um, controllers mm -hmm. because the graphics are all different. The way the graphics are displayed oh are different gosh. because Vroom scrolled. And this doesn't scroll. It's like a static screen. The sounds are all different. Uh, he's exactly the same speed as me. Um... So maybe a little bit, but I wouldn't expect he would have adapted a lot of it or carried over a lot of it. Because I've I've asked that question to a number oh. of developers. It's like, how much Terrible. code do you reuse? And they really say they don't really reuse anything mm. because kernels are very different every game. so fast. I did a terrible job on that one. I was doing oh, much watermelon. better. That's another watermelon? One. That's Cute. not a real one. <laughs> oh, so fast now. Level 23. Oh, oh he's so fast. 23, really good. Oh, there's grapes. I wonder how many uh, different fruit there are. Uh, again, again, again. <laughs> one more? Yeah. They just tell us they don't reuse code. So it seems like it's harder than it is. <laughs> oh, it took hundreds <sighs> and hundreds of hours. Yeah. Now they're just really, really fast at developing code. Oh, so it starts so slow. <laughs> and this play is very different than my uh, pack line. Um, in my pack line, the ghosts get faster um, when they are not eaten, but they're always slow when they are eaten, and the Pac-Man speed stays the same in mine. Mm. Um, I do planning on putting uh, plan on putting in fruit in mine as well. Um, oh, I did that last time too. That was so bad. But I also. <sighs> I'm planning to do a two-player simultaneous, not like this, where mm. the other person plays the ghost. Or no, no, no! It's two there's two Pac-Men on the same line. Yeah, 
I like that. I'm excited to, to try yeah. that out. Yeah. But I, um, been, we've been we've been away a lot, so. Yeah, uh, things I mean, will get back to normal frequency and time to do stuff uh, come July. So. Yes. Yeah. Ah, uh, Arena Food. Is any ah, anyone in the chat going to the Houston Arcade Expo in October? Love to. Oh, we've that been going on too many vacations this year. I think. I think. think well, we're at our limit. Yeah. With Portland, Houston would be very cool. Um, this is super cool game. Um, it is not available yet, mm. but it will be available tomorrow to download. So uh, keep your eyes open for this game. Um, he did post a demo a long time ago. Okay. Um, in April, just a mock-up. Uh, it was a non-playable mm. mm. version of this, just with all the lines. and It wasn't as colorful as this, I, if I remember. Um, he says, the latest version is attached. I barely started with the sound, and the game is quiet mostly so far. He's got some eating sounds. Mm. You can play with up to eight people and so at cool. four starting difficulties, yeah. with or without fruit. And we played all those. Mm. And we didn't play starting levels because it just starts at a higher, faster level. Um, the computer, computer AI is barely existent. It cheats, and there's more <laughs> there to keep things busy and interesting. So all eight play all the time. Mm. Not, it doesn't matter... If zero humans are playing or eight you know, eight humans are playing all eight lines are going at once uh during the start of the game is much like vroom during the countdown players tap their button and their line flashes if you start the countdown with reset and press no button you have a screensaver there you go so it's a screensaver <laughs> if you don't want to play it's really colorful it's very effective Fantastic. with the paddles yeah um i prefer joystick left and right but it's very playable um, I just find it a lot more controllable because then you don't have to keep track of am I going left or right, especially when you're trying to stay in one spot. But this is a great solution for eight people playing at the same time. Yes. Great for a party game. It's going to be great for PRGE. If this is on display at PRG, that would be a very oh, awesome. Oh, it would be so much fun. Um, so, there you go. Time for game number two. Game number two. And it is not technically um, an exclusive because it has been released in demo mode. But we have an exclusive final build of the game. Mm. So it's not a world exclusive, but... So this is the finished version of the game. For those of you who played the demo, you'll be able to see all the levels we're going to be playing. So we can go down to today's date and load up flap ninja and you guessed correctly oh it is a flappy bird type game it's like a hero ninja <laughs> yeah so this yay this is made by uh amir said sarah lika kiki ah. pdph um, it was first posted about June 12th in the Atari Age forums, and uh, this builds from June 24th, so yesterday. It's a 32k game. Oh my goodness, I panicked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's going on? Other games my, made by oh. uh, Mirsad, uh, Three Point Dash, Boo Fruit, Karamujo, Final D, Final D2, Flap Ninja, Jutland Skies, Meow Meow 2, Meow. Ninja Block, Stellar Drive, Stellar Drive Mars. Uh, there is a demo available of this game in the oh Atari Age forums. Excl Exclusive-ish, yes. It's an exclusive final build, but not a world premiere. So it is exclusive. Um, oh my goodness, I'm terrible. So, we played one more game, and then we're going to take a look at the manual. Okay. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this game? Stop, stop your play. <laughs> It's it's challenging. It is it is a very challenging game. This but on eight lanes. <laughs> eight lane flap ninja. Yeah, Everything's go. gotta be eight lanes now. And it could be done because it just uses one button. Oh yeah. So any game with one button could be multiplied down the screen. Yeah. Um right. so We're let's just take a look. a look at the Oh so cute. Oh no one can see it yet. Nope. There you go. Flap ninja for oh. the Atari twenty six hundred instruction manual. Very cute. And oh he does gosh. his own artwork, too. I love it. <laughs> He's become a VHZC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> one man band in the distant kingdom of Asakurubana, where cherry blossoms always bloom. Let's see if we can make this bigger. Can you mm. go bigger? Bigger. Oh well. <laughs> Just know. yell at it. It'll it'll get oh, bigger. Oh, there we go. Oh, there. Ah. There we go. <laughs> those L's. That second L. Oh, those L's are being naughty. Uh, where cherry blossoms always bloom, there exists a mysterious village hidden among the mountains. Mm -hmm. This village is home to the legendary Flap Ninjas, <laughs> a secret group of warriors who have developed a unique flying technique using propellers on their heads. Their skill is not just a matter of technology, but also of spiritual power they possess. Oh, I see. Our hero, a young ninja named Takeshi, has just completed his training and is ready for his first mission. His sensei, the wise old master Hiroshi, has entrusted him with a task that will test his abilities to the limit. Takeshi's mission is to find and return the sacred scroll mm -hmm. of enlightenment, which was stolen from their temple of their village. The propeller on the flap ninja's head is not an ordinary device. It symbolizes their dedication to balancing technology and nature. The propeller is crafted from ancient materials and powered by the energy a ninja draws from their inner harmony. Oh, I see. Their ability allows flap ninjas to hover silently and unnoticed. Mm. It doesn't make any sound. <laughs> Overcoming obstacles that ordinary ninjas could not. Game mechanics, lives, and continues. You have one life in the game, but you can continue twice where you lost a life. So you're reincarnated. <laughs> it's the same life. Yeah. Get to continue. Controls. Movement. Takeshi moves forward automatically. Yes. Controls his out al al not attitude. Altitude. altitude. <laughs> by pre control your attitude. Yeah. Pressing the joystick. I, I control my attitude by pressing the <laughs> That's joystick right. button. So there you go. Um, joystick button to flap upwards. Release <laughs> to descend. Um, left difficulty switch. Takeshi appears as a female ninja in A. B position, Takeshi appears as a male. So mm. we're going to switch over. Flip to, it around. the next and see what that the alternate graphics look like. Scoring. Score increases as Takeshi pro process, progresses through the level. Survive longer and overcome more challenges for a higher score. Level overview. We saw the pipes of enlightenment. Smash. Navigate stationary pipes with openings. Precision is key to avoid collisions. Hmm. Attack of the flap ninjas. Dodge ninjas flying with propellers and throwing shurikens. Nice. Level three, moving openings. Dynamic challenge with pipes having oh. moving openings. Adjust height to pass through. Uh, level four, little katana, katana ninjas. Avoid small ninjas wielding large katanas. Ah, oh, cute. They are super cute. I can't wait to get to that level if I ever make it. <laughs> <laughs> level five, key to salvation. Find and collect a key to remove an obstacle. Failure to find it results oh, in a crash. Nice. <laughs> Uh, D Train says, "I cannot wait to see the anime. This is ba that's that is based on this, and yeah. you have to make an anime. And then the D Train says, this, this will be game. five seasons on Netflix. There's oh, yeah. five levels, five seasons. I'm looking forward to the little, little ninjas little building katana big ninjas. katanas. Yeah. It's super cute. Yeah. <laughs> uh, game tips: practice makes perfect. Improve timing and obstacle going, uh, avoidance with each step. Stay focused, observe, and react quickly to obstacles and enemies. Use difficulty switch. Customize Takeshi's appearance yes. for personalized so experience." So cute. I love Con it. Conclusion. Guide Takeshi through challenging levels, retrieve the sacred scroll of enlightenment, and save the village. Each level test your skills and reflex. Complete the niche mission, become a legend, be a flap ninja. Nah. <laughs> Mirsad, game creative package design, thanks to James O'Brien and Haroldo. Haroldo, I think I, did, I saw in the chat today, so... So I did game testing on this. Yes. As I often right. do with games. Okay, go back to the game. I want to play the game. Especially fun games. <laughs> Uh, okay, and we are It's so back. cute! Did it change graphics? It's purple! Purple! So you can pick which color. Doesn't change the game. Just the color. And the graphics in this are really nice. There are multiple colors on the same line for the graphics for you and the enemies. Oh my gosh, okay. I, I'm... <laughs> I made it to the, the next level. There you go. Now you know. Oh. oh, I think you should be able to kill them, but that's just me. Oh, made it to level three. Oh my gosh. And dead. And dead. Start over. Um, be so yourself, cute. unless you can be a flap ninja. Then yes. be a flap ninja. Agreed. <laughs> Five seasons of Netflix, and D-Train says, I'm sure the fourth season will be everyone's favorite. <laughs> that's right. It uh, always fails in the fifth season. Does it? Falls flat. They try and oh. wrap it up. and You know, they forget storylines. Um, a new team of writer writers come on. They completely mess up. They forget uh, the lore that it comes from. 
and what made oh. everybody like it to begin with. Oh, get one more continuum. Just one? I don't know. Depends how many times you died. I do like that it does continue. Oh, oh no! Oh, you didn't make it. Oh, okay. You see if you can get it to the next one. Endings are hard. They are. They were in purgatory all the time. No. That's right. Uh, <laughs> the whole time. Uh, and we'll never tell completely, you Completely, completely invalidates everything that they built up throughout five seasons. That's right. You don't um, get to know what the bear or the smoke monster was yeah. all about. <laughs> Get or what the nothing. numbers mean. There was never an explanation about the numbers. Just a oh. little salty about Lost still all these years oh later. My God. Yeah. Um, hundreds of <laughs> hours. Things, hundreds of hours and hundreds of things <laughs> unexplained. Uh, yes. It was all about the journey, not the destination <laughs> with Lost. Damn it. Ah. What do you mean it was all a dream? Yeah. Oh, Turns out you God. are a, a psychologist and you just woke, woke up in... Uh, Oh, with your yes. with your with your first wife. Um, that was the best ending ever. Actually, that was a good ending. Oh, that was the hearts. only one that it was all a dream worked for. It works, yeah, because it it was Bob Newhart. So what are you gonna do? Got to jump the shark sometime, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oof, that was close. Yeah. So we did finish season one of The Mandalorian. We're yes. about four years behind everyone else. <laughs> we'll get um, there. But we enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, I've heard uh, mixed reviews about upcoming seasons, but I'm still looking forward to watching yeah. them. <gasps> oh, that was close. Oh, the ending of St. Elsewhere was pretty intense. I don't think I ever saw it, and I was ah, reading or watching something about what it was. Damn it! Um, I die in the first thing. And I had no idea, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give it away. Cause maybe sad. someday I will watch it. But anyway, sorry. Really, St. Elsewhere? How many seasons? Uh no, but the ending. Oh, okay. I, I know, I know what it is, just because I saw something about oh, it. But uh, great reset. Yeah. Be like water. What else? What else had it uh, either really good or really terrible ending? Satisfying endings are hard. They are because everybody's going to have high expectations. We're not even going to touch Game of Thrones because that was just oh, travesty. It was a travesty, and you didn't follow it. I didn't care. So. Oh, I spent the next two hours after seeing the finale providing all my notes. <laughs> on exactly what they could have done but didn't do to make it work even mm. just remotely okay like oh terrible um damn it oh kathy man D, D says i like watching um youtube reactions to certain mandalorian episode scenes <laughs> yeah you know what damn it's it. fun to watch reactions like his yep. right now <laughs> Um, Breaking Bad was pretty epic. We have not seen that, and I can't believe we haven't seen that, but yeah, everyone talks we'll, about we'll it. We'll get there. I, I've seen clips oh, and bits and God. pieces, and like there's tons of shows talking about the great scenes and great episodes right. that I've seen a fair amount of it without having watching it completely. So, but so that one's supposed to be good from start to finish. Oh, from start to finish, yeah. I'm always interested, though, to hear what people are watching now. Right. What's good out there. Because it's kind of hard. I, I'm uh. the type of person who, when I'm uh. faced with my Netflix choices, yeah. I can never pick. I can uh. never figure out what I want to watch. And it ends up being true crime nine times out of ten. So. We're just back to YouTube. Or, or some period drama, which just makes James run out of the room and hide. Screaming. Hides. Screaming. <laughs> so, like, I'll be downstairs. Uh, yes, I did watch all of Bridgerton, so that's... that's <laughs> I know this is not the Bridgerton crowd. Maybe it is. I don't Maybe. Know. Never know. But uh, They could appreciate the costumes yeah. and the Oh, no. The Kathy drama. is in a Twitch commercial attack. Oh, no. Uh, Oh, Chelsea Donnie Mao, I spent part of this evening watching too many reactions to the Obi-Wan Maul duel on Damn Rebels. It. Okay. Ah! I almost made it. Yeah, Pseudographics pointed out, I like how he's looking at the player and only when an obstacle approaches he looks. Like, the, the yep. animation, have you seen that? So yes. good. It's really good. There's a huge attention to detail in this mm. game. My turn? Yep. <laughs> and first one. <laughs> Oh and if you look at the graphics on the pipes, so good. Everything in this, the graph. Where do you see the tiny little ninja dudes? They're so cute. Oh my goodness! Have we? Have did you make it to the ninja dudes? 
I uh, no, I am like I was one pipe away from it. Oh, no. D-Train says, are you saying that James did not watch the Colin Firth version of Pride and Prejudice with you? I've seen it on the television, I'm sure. <laughs> Sorry, I've that made like, me laugh. I've seen like 20 versions of Pride and Prejudice on our television. Oh, my God. I haven't sat down and watched any of them because it's just like, who shall I marry? Oh, <laughs> You've lost all your fortune. Whatever shall you do? I've heard that How? sentence so many times. However, he did have to sit through the Age of Innocence. Well, Age that of was... Innocence because of the authorship yeah. of the director. Martin Scorsese. Martin Scorsese. Last and, half was excellent. Uh, he First half was almost excellent. ran out of the room. I knew he wouldn't. Uh, <laughs> but then it does get... Uh, the uh, rage reset. Yeah. Um... Miss, Miss, Mrs. But it Caf is actually quite good. Mrs. Cafe watches Pride and Prejudice BBC every couple months and I get sucked in. Well, Cafe Man 2D is a, is a fan then. I'm watching Sandition right now on the PBS channel. Yeah. Um, terrible. Poor James. Just terrible. Oh, oh no, that's not right what I meant to do. It. Got a duck under those. So has, has Tanya seen any of the Gilded no. Age? It is Gilded Age. Oh, that's the... Uh, I know which one that is. I have not. Oh, my gosh. I do especially hate... Pole Dark. No, Pole Dark. I, I, I watched the first season <laughs> of that. It's <laughs> uh, And it was okay. It wasn't It wasn't is high up on my list. It is, it is. It's also a book series. Okay. Oh, my goodness. The other thing I haven't gotten back to is... You know, um, hand it over. You're oh failing. Oh, gosh. That series based off of the sci-fi book series where the woman travels back in time. I watched the mm. first season-ish of that. Oh my gosh. I'm talking too much about period dramas. This is a problem. One more. Okay. Hi. Hi. I can't talk about such exciting TV. <laughs> yeah. A friend of mine is in the Gilded Age. That's cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, nice. Guy, great teen is no good. <laughs> It's not going to get you Outlander, there. thank you, Cyrano. Yeah, I started watching Outlander uh, years ago and then got through a few seasons, but I I have friends who are big, big fans. God. I haven't seen a lot of the later, late, later, later seasons, so. Maybe it would help if you talk about ninja period dramas. Well, Chastadoni Mao, you're going to have to enlighten me on what ninja period dramas are out there. <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever watched any ninja movies. Samurai movies, yes. Lots of samurai movies. Yes, you do. Like, yeah. Akira Kurosawa's yes. samurai movies. They're excellent. I like Katrina Balfe, who's in Outlander. Yeah, she's, she's oh, pretty so good. so when it's going down. Oh, all my lives. Nostalgia says, I barely watch TV. I'm more likely to be watching my spouse play through a video game. There you uh, go. Oh, okay. Oh, Shogun. Yeah, I heard Shogun was excellent, actually. You oh, might yeah. like that. That is a period drama, too. But it's but it's samurai. got really good reviews. I've heard it's really good. Okay. Oh my God! <laughs> just only now. Hey, I just come up with the ideas. I don't know anything about them. <laughs> Ninja period drama, but oh. Shogun almost almost qualifies. Oh, cat oh, it oh! Sounds like he's being tortured when he's picked up. I know. Oh my God! It's it's um. Do better. An evolutionary response. <laughs> to be to squeal. Yeah. It's like, like a little like, baby pig. Like like kids who cry and make everyone in the in the um, grocery store stare at the mum like uh, they've been torturing them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this game is so hard. Oh, an Infocom game. Shogun, yeah. That is based off a book, if I'm not mistaken. I don't... Is that... Or is that... Oh, was it originally a TV series or a well, movie? There was a, a TV series. Was there a TV series? Okay. So I think it... Based off the TV series? That, or it's based on something else that's even earlier? Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, I think you're right. I think I did see that it was based off an earlier... Yeah, because we watched some... Something about some it. Some video about it. Yeah, someone reviewing it. James Clavel novel. It was based on a novel. Okay, that's, that's what I had thought. Richard Chamberlain was in the original TV series. Ah! And those are pretty hard. They are very hard, especially going down. <sighs> what oh, happened? Oh no! Broken. It's broken. You didn't, or did you just clip it? No, it broke. Oh no! 
in the 70s, the two big miniseries were Roots and Shogun. I remember seeing Roots. I was going to say Upstairs, Downstairs. That was like a there is another period soap opera version from of, the BBC or something. Anyway. There's another version of this I have that may not break at that point. I thought I tested it completely. But maybe I just tested the beginning of it. I'm going to try it again. Yeah. Oh, Holocaust was a big one also, right? And then Cyrano says, and the Nightmare Fuel Threads. James talks about oh, threads all the time. It's real good. <laughs> real good to give you nightmares. I, I and, and your description of it is why I've never seen it. Because I'm like, I don't want to watch it from what you've told me. I'm like, that doesn't sound like a good time to me. It's so. the bleakest thing you've ever seen. I, 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 I can only deal with so much bleak. Oh, we're going to have a bleak festi film festival we're gonna have at some to, point. Because you haven't seen... Um, I have to hide all the knives uh, in the house. What is it? Um, Schindler's List, either. No. Is that, like, super bleak? It's it's the Holocaust. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> it's but people, kind of hard. Do people say... 99 uh, out of 10 in bleak, yeah. <laughs> the do, threads. Yeah. Do people say, uh, it's a movie I'll never watch again? Oh. Oh, um, um, Schindler's List? Is it uh, like a one-time Grave of viewing? the Fireflies, if you want to talk about horrible and sad and bleak? Not answer my question. What? The worst one? What? <laughs> no. Uh, Schindler's List, is it a movie that you only want to see once? Kind of. Yeah, it's hard to watch. Because all the movies on my list yeah. are movies you will never want to watch I, twice. I, I'm not particularly... Oh! Oh, Render Ghost, I've rented it three times and never ended up watching it. It is bleak. It is very worth seeing. Kind of like Grave of the Fireflies. That's a hard one to pick up and watch a second oh, time. It's brutal. Oh, it's so brutal. Um, Kathy Man 2D, Black Mirror was too bleak for me. I'm with you. Oh, there were I some of those. Mirror. You love bleak, though. Yes. Uh, I do. There were some Black Mirrors that I'm like, why am I sitting through this? Oh, damn like, it. Like, I don't need this in my life. <laughs> so. Okay, I'm going to yeah. load up the other Flat Ninja build that I have because that one doesn't make it to the little ninjas. Hmm. Gamadev says follow up the lighthearted animated When the Wind Blows. I don't know that one. Oh, we, we watched that. When the Wind Blows? Yeah, I can't remember Which anything about that? it. What happens in it, basically? Is that... Are you saying that, Gamadev, because it's bleak or because it's it'll oh, it'll uplift it up you? It. Follow oh. up with it, yeah. Oh yeah, when the wind blows is bleak. Okay. I can't remember what that is. Okay. Maybe I haven't seen it. Uh, we've seen all of them. Oh, Testament. I remember watching that on PBS and I cried. Testament. Don't know Testament no, either. I don't know that one. Ooh. Good, good suggestions coming. Yeah. <laughs> James is taking Ooh. notes. He's going go, gonna go through the chat again That's and come right. up with the bleak fest. Okay. Oh man. This is a different build. Oh, it's too old folk denying the nuclear war outside the window happened. Oh. Oh, that does sound very, very bleak. <laughs> By the guy who did the snowman. Ooh. Oh, I don't know that. Ah! When the wind blows? Oh sorry. This is a problem with chats. When the they wind come blows in different is uh... a Ghibli movie. Is it? Yes. Okay. I believe. Or are we thinking of something else? I don't know. Ah, is that line count issues or just crash? Okay, oh, well, we're done with that game. Okay. <laughs> That's it for that one. Did we see the katana? Unfortunately, we did not. Oh. There are pictures of it. I'll leave that okay. for uh, future people to play. To get so to. So don't spoil everything. Okay. How about that? I love it that you have a category called secret. Well, I have a, it's secret and then beta testing because sometimes yeah. some people accidentally click on secret and it shows the secret. So I have to put Has two. That ever Yes. I so, right. so I have to put two categories in, so okay. there's multiple levels just in case. Okay. Okay. Um, wait one second. There's We're going to play Frazzled next. Um, and uh, this is by uh, David Marley, Dave M, and Atari Boy 2600 did the packaging artwork, mm -hmm. which we're going to take a look at the packaging before we jump into the game because it is very nice come on there we go beautiful colors on that mm -hmm. and uh atari boy 2600 also did uh mr yo-yo also by david m very cartoony um 
really really cool very colorful rainbow rainbows okay so let's get back to the game if you would like to load up a frazzled and this is an exclusive final build of frazzled Woo! oh yes frazzled now i know how to switch Nice music. Yes, this was, um, the music was made up mm. by his uh, late wife and he converted something that she sang into a recorder into oh. music. So it's um, in a way dedicated to, uh, to, his to wife. her. Oh. Yeah. Um, so let's see, make sure the B switches are in B position and color. That's good because it was switched to A for the last game. There you go. Um, object of the game is to manipulate the pattern of boxes in the bottom grid to match, match the, the top. top grid. Yes. Um, because of the game's pseudo this. 3D perspective, each box must match the box directly above it. Okay. So the far ones match the far ones at the top. Okay. Now let's. I'm going to, we're going to go through a tutorial of how to switch every single... A tutorial? So if you press the button and go to practice mode, it's not really a tutorial, but... And click onto practice mode. I will show you how to switch. Now for this game, the flashing ones don't switch. Okay. Um, oh. It's matched. Press the button again. I think that was accidental. No. Uh, press it again. Oh, no. Press once more. Oh, no, it's not matching. Okay. Let me just get these in order because I stapled them out of order. Okay. There we go. This one looks tricky, says Polygox. Um, after you figure out how to switch every single one, it's very mm. easy. Okay, so pick one that you need to switch. Top right. Okay. Okay, so move over to the top right. So that needs to be switched from off to back on. So, how to do that, how to switch corner ones. Okay. Um, for a corner one, you do switch the corner, and then you switch, um, let's see. One, four, eight, nine. You switch those two and those two. Yeah, and then one more to the right. One more to the right. Yeah, and you missed one in the top left. I'm confused what you're asking me to do here. This one's wrong. And press it. There you go. So now everything is the same as before, except you've switched that top right. Yeah, but the bottom one isn't correct. So, so now that's the next one to do. Okay, no, so to switch that one. Yeah. You switch those two, those two, and that one. No, you didn't, you didn't switch that one and that one. You have to physically hop on them and press the button on each of the ones that I've told you to hop on. There you go. That's, that's How are the you cheat figuring code. it out, though? Um, because it gives information here. So I'm not going to read out this because so it's you're more confusing. you're cheating your way through it instead of figuring it out. Well, you can do it either way, <laughs> but this is the fast way to how to switch one at a time. But but I'm, I'm confused how you're deciding which one's in which... Like, you're just saying, do this one, do this yeah. one, do this one. I'm like, well, what is now the I'll pattern? That I'm, I'm trying to find. So this, I need to switch that one. Yeah. So you need to switch that one. So you switch the one that you need to switch, yes. first of all. And then you switch this, uh, this and this, and this and this. And it's always that pattern. So pretend it's an arrow. So you're going in, in a circle? Kind of. That one, and this one, and this one. So we need to switch this one. Okay. So now we look for that arrow, but in the opposite direction. It's this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I'm very confused. What are you talking about, an arrow? Are you talking about an arrow pattern? That 
and that. So if you switch that one, it, it is... Um, so you're doing the corner and you, you're hitting all of the ones on the one outer one. edge. Yes, the opposite outer edge. The opposite outer edge, okay. Um, now we only have this one left. Mm -hmm. And to switch that... Cartridge image, image is still flat ninja? Oh, thank you. See, we do look at the chat from time to we time. We do. <laughs> <laughs> um, box two. Four, five. So if you want to switch this one, mm -hmm. it's the one below it. And then the whole row opposite. Oh, I'm not you supposed to switch You did the reverse way, but that's Oops. okay. <laughs> I understand. So you have to do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. Oops. Oh, no, and you have totally to wrong. do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you don't do it self. So I need to do that one. So it's this. The middle? Yes, this, this. this. Middle. Yeah, the middle and then the, the row, row opposite. opposite. Okay. Yeah. I'll do one more example. Mm. So I need to switch this one. So. The arrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is the arrow, yes. But it, it automatically did this one. Wait, so you, I need you to do it and the arrow. It and the arrow. Gotcha. So I need to switch this one. So I do it. Oh, no, I don't do it. I do that, that one. <laughs> Some are held, so it's yeah. not going to hold up. But uh, this one. So I need to do this and the arrow. That one, that one, that one, that one. Not the corner? Not the corner. And now I need to do... Oops. This one. So I do that and the whole extra row down here. Okay. Okay. I feel like that will work, but it may not be the shortest number of, of jumps yes. to solve it. And he does say that. Yes. It may not be the shortest. Gotcha. Buzzing is back. Oh no! Is it back? Wiggle it. Check, check. Is it gone? And gone. Gone, gone, because I just plugged it back in. Thumbs up. All good. Say yes. So I think, I wonder what the problem is there. Oh, it was gone for a new few seconds. It was gone for a few seconds because I unplugged it. So you have to wait till it comes back and you can hear us again. Now it still seems high. What is happening? Where is this plugged into, by the way? Hmm. That is a pretty easy cheat. <laughs> Where does this go? It's on an extension cable. Mm. Whatever that is, it needs a ground loop. Yes, it does. Oh my goodness. That goes up. There. Way worse. Ah. What is happening? Yeah, I think this is a bad cable. Yeah, there's only game sound because I'm unplugging the audio. Oh, okay.
This is way harder than... <laughs> than just normal? Yep. Check. What is happening? What is happening? Oh my goodness. Much worse. Much worse. Can you hear us at all? Oh yeah, you can hear us. Okay. Dad. Yeah, that good old 60 hertz syncopation. But also the buzz. Tons of buzz, huh? Okay. Let's see if I can find this cable that is going into my computer and unplug it because it is being very naughty. Check. Can you install the Vectrex D-Buzz kit? Unicorn dance party! Maybe! Woo! <laughs> ah! <laughs> nice. I have no idea why it's super crazy buzzy now. Check, 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 check. Is it better? Is it better? Check, check, check. Better, still there. Mm. Does seem better. Check, 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 check. Batter. <laughs> Batter with a bad. I think one of these cables is really bad. But unfortunately there's tons of noise, like literally. So I can't make it completely silent. try something else. I'm going to eliminate... There! Okay. I've gotten rid of the extension cable. Is that better? <laughs> Gone now. Much better. Okay, it was the it it was the USB extension cable that's acting up. Oh yeah, that's much better. Oh my God, what a nightmare! Teaches me for getting Amazon Basics USB extension cable. <laughs> Amazon Basics lived up to its name, I guess. Yep. Too basic. It's. USB. B for buzz. Do not understand this game's rules. I don't really either. Well, there's multiple games. So because I've been fooling around with audio, I haven't been able to talk about the game at all. Okay. So which one are you playing? 
Practice uh, mode, time rush mode, arcade mode? Arcade mode. Okay. Well, she is trying to match the bottom to the top. And you have a time limit. Um, there are five arcade modes available. Um, touch an enemy, ten penalty points. Fail to complete a level, one penalty point for each incorrect box on the current, plus ten penalty points for each unattempted puzzle. Uh, penalty eaters are as displayed on the scoreboard between a pair of X's. I so guess those not are penalties. Oh. Not supposed to get those. Even though it looks like ten times score, it is not a good thing. And those guys are messing with your... Some of them are good, some of them are bad. Every few seconds in the arcade mode, something will spawn off the side of the grid. The object may be an enemy, a power-up, or a bonus apple. Making contact with any object will remove it all objects from the grid. Really? So do what you want to collide with and do what do you want to avoid. Well, if it looks like an alien being, avoid it. If it looks like an object, grab it. Um, there you have two enemies, Mr. Grumpy and Ed. Ed is a purple thing. He just hops across his grid. Avoid him at all costs. Mr. Grumpy is red. He takes, he's, it's always a penalty, eh? Yeah, yeah. don't touch him. Yeah, Occasionally he'll stop and let out a growl. If you leave, leave him alone, he'll eventually stop growling. Hmm. One more puzzle to solve. Well, that's always when this happens, he changes to... Are you keep touching those enemies? Yeah, I do. Okay, don't. Let's, <laughs> see what Let's see what happens when you don't. There you go. Three power-ups, red, green, and blue. Power-up enables wild cards. One of the three wild cards will appear in the grid. They are flashing boxes which always match. You can still hop onto wild cards and press the button to switch their surrounding boxes, but the wild card itself will not change. Even Mr. Grumpy can't change a wild card box. He will try and try sometimes. So the flashing ones are static. There you go. So those are permanent, and you don't need to change those. Kittens, please stop. Um, green power-up slows the clock to half speed. And the red power-up en enables the panic mode. Power will appear with uh, less than 40 seconds on the clock. Panic mode is circular red button that appears below box 8. Um... Once you up on the panic button, the game will take over control for a few seconds and will try to match the target grid for you by making a series of random moves. During testing, the pan button had, button had a success rate of just a tad north of 50%. Ah! Don't touch the bad guys. I know, I'm trying to... Purple or red, don't touch them. Finally. <laughs> the more you explain, the more or less sense it, it, it makes. It makes so little sense to me, too. <laughs> See, those are permanent, and the, those are... You don't need to switch those, which is good. Mm -hmm. So you need to switch the middle. Oh, and to switch the middle one, you do all the ones around it and the middle. Like uh, an X. Hmm. I feel like I get close and then someone messes it up for me. Oh. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Dead. Uh, yeah, I... I uh... Trying to do it and you tell me what's going on is not, <laughs> not helping good. me. No. Yes. Need to read it first. Uh, okay. It's like Hubert. Yep. He's he's uh, <laughs> he's the the unicorn is definitely um, cursing. So I just need to switch this one. And that guy's Oops. messing it up for you though. Oh, but it was on a flashing one anyway, so it didn't matter. Comes out of nowhere. Yep. So I need to switch that, <laughs> that, that, that. It's neat. Oh, I did like I did the it. unicorn dance party though. I think all <laughs> games should have unicorn dance parties. Yes. It's like a big disco floor. So I need to switch that one. That, 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 that. It comes out of nowhere and gets you. Okay, that one's good. So I need to switch that. switched okay no uh, that one's fine that one's fine that one's not so that 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 
one more. Come on. Stop it. Because they mess it up. Are they messing it up? Oh my god. Something is. Next level. <laughs> uh, Ooh, unicorn what happens party. with this? What so do you, you do? just avoid the, the thing. You just oh. don't want to hit those. But they're random. Yep. Do I get those guys? I have no idea. Just Come avoid. back here. Oh, avoid them. Okay. Crazy. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I need to do that one. So it's that, that, and that. Um, stop changing things. Is he going to switch it? He is. So that's what he does. That's what he. Oh my god. That's fine. I need that one switched. The Thinking Man's Unicorn Game. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, Atari, are you thinking? Do you want to play? Okay, what other options do we have? Ooh, it's different levels of yeah. arcade mode. I think it's the number of puzzles you have to oh, complete I see. before you move up a level. I see, yep. Yeah, that makes sense. You can stomp him while he's growling, says Dave. Oh, Dave, ah, hello! Stomp on Mr. Grumpy while he's growling and you can oh. change one box at a time. Yes, that, that, that was working. Helps. That was working for me, too. Okay, let's do the arcade mode yeah. again, then. I didn't know you could stomp on him. That yeah. would help Because sometimes you were like, don't touch him! And I was like, <laughs> I was pretty sure sometimes that works out. But okay, I guess it's when Mr. he's Grumpy. stomping. There we go. And you can change <gasps> one at a oh, time. Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't take advantage of it. Okay. No, it's hard to. Hi! Atari is being very cute right now. Oh, I finished it before he could be grumpy. Be grumpy? <laughs> Are you Mr. Okay, grumpy? Okay, that makes it a lot easier. Do you want to play this game? He's like, I want to be okay, Mr. Grumpy. Okay, what do I need to do? I need to switch that one, that one. Oh, I didn't do it in time. It's that okay, one, it's hard. That one, that one. That one. No! Ah! 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 Middle! Ah! Ah! No! <laughs> so I need to switch the middle one. So I need to do that, 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 that. And the top. I need the top, so I need that one. Ah, ah, stomp. It made me... It, it, that's the point of the game. It messes <laughs> it you messes up. just messes you up. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dave. <laughs> oh, it's Unicorn Dance Party. So avoid, so I have to get these guys, but avoid them. You, you can get... I get the spaces, but not the unicorns, those enemies. I think the enemies yeah. stop it immediately. See, I'm getting points for getting those. Ah! For getting them or avoiding for them? For stomping Oh, on... step on avoid. Oh my gosh, I completely misunderstood that. Oh, there's two of them now. Get tons of points. Sometimes. You only got it. You only get it when it says a thousand, I think. There you go. You have to be very quick. Good job. Oh, full Oof. board. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. Lies. Uh, I need this one. So I need that, 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 that. Um, got that, got that. Oh. Um, those are done. It's in the bottom too. Okay. And that. And the other one. Go to the bottom one. No? Oh. Yeah, because the flashing ones don't change. So you can take advantage oh, of the fact that they more. don't change. There you go. Yep. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is a very challenging game. It's very challenging. Because of those I love the guys unicorn. that come and mess you so up. So cute. Uh, Cafe Man asks, is Frazzle done or still a work in progress? Uh, this is final. Uh, oops. Oh, I just forget I can take advantage of that. This is the final build, unless there's things found. Oh, now I know how to do this. One more. There. Yeah. Ah. Mr. Grumpy. Mr. Grumpy's like a huge bonus, actually. Yeah. 
you were telling me not to get them. And I was like, what's going on? Scared. I'm so confused. Uh, okay. After watching it for a little while, it's making sense. It does. <laughs> Anything makes sense if you stare at it long enough, as far as That's I'm concerned. Right. Yeah. Okay. But especially games. Um, that one and that one, and I just need one. No. Did I? Oh, yeah, so that one. That's the last one. Oh, those two, actually. That um, one? Oh, I'm going to use Mr. Grumpy. That one. Ugh. Oh, the bottom one. Yeah. Okay. So middle and then the, the T. There. <laughs> yeah. Just use Mr. Grumpy. Mr. Grumpy might be just the key to this whole thing. Yep. Um, I like that he's called Mr. Grumpy. <laughs> I do too. Ah, no. Oh, no. You have no time. Come on, Mr. Grumpy. Come back. Get it. Skip the level. Yay! <laughs> Although the time keeps running down. Oh, it just randomizes it. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. <gasps> oh! Oh, no. Get it. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no! Oh. Yay! Oh, my goodness. This is, this is crazy. That one, that one. Oh, no! Opposite! <laughs> Um. And that just go down to the bottom one and hit that. There you go. And the top one. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Pull his crows. Wow. <laughs> that took a while. Uh, Reading up. Snug for the unicorn, Snuggy. Oh. So oh, fun. Snuggy the unicorn. That's definitely some small child's name. Unicorn, unicorn dance party. I love this part. I know. I love the disco ball. God. It runs away from you, I swear. Oh, it's so fast. You can't, like, it's just pure luck that you get it at this point. I'm gonna stay in the middle. Cause at least there's four. <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah, the disco ball sequence is great. Okay. Oh. Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Oh. No, we get the middle. Yay! Yay! 50 seconds. Not much time. Okay. That one. Uh, that one. That one. And what? Ah! I need that one, so I need that one. That one. That one. That one. Um, what is... An... Oh. There. There. Oh, no. Middle one. Oh, there's the middle. Ah, oh, no time. Get off. Oh no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect. Doesn't help. <laughs> I don't, what is that for? I don't know. It, it, it saves you from getting hit by something, oh, maybe? I'm done. One second it's left. It's a Qbert. <sighs> Four out five hundred. Oh, good score. Good score. Times 26. Oh, am I still going? What? You can you can kill the villain while he's monologuing. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> yep. it. Yep. Um, okay, I need to get rid of that one. Switch, switch. And then I need to eliminate these. There we Yay! go. I need to eliminate those. Take that one. There we go. Red button gives you a 50% chance of, oh, of completing. That's why it was work, working sometimes, and sometimes it wasn't. Mr. Grumpy, you gotta save me. the T. Oh. Just messing me up. Messing me up. Game continues until you get 50 penalty points. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. I was trying to figure out. Come on, 50%. Flip the coin. Nope. <laughs> What do I need? Just 
Upper, upper one, that one. Okay. Do -do 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 -do. Oh my god. Oh, I press it sometimes and it's like not, not registering. Um. Sometimes he doesn't uh, stop. Oh, he's not stopping. Oh, he's running across? Yeah. Um, so, I need mean, that one. That one. That one. That one. Come on. Give it to oh, bastard. So I need to switch that. So it's that, 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 that. I need to switch that one. So it's that, that. Oh no! It's not what. No, no, it's all screwed up. Okay. Go get him. There you go. Higher level, sometimes he doesn't stop. Yeah. Oh, might as well hop on and he gives me a 50% chance. Yay! <gasps> Yay! I Brain power up slows timer. Ah. Earned a unicorn. Oh, it's so fast. Unicorn dance party! This is almost. A, oh, I got a thousand. It's too fast. is pretty much what you have to do. Just randomly hop and hope you get it. And avoid the dudes. Yeah, I got it. Oh. Kittens. What is it? What's wrong? Injustice. Injustice. He's like, it's time for more treats, please. Clax and Cubert had a baby. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I just need the middle. Come on, stop. Yay. Yay. Yeah, you're getting the hang of it more now. Yep. Hey, it's Cap. Oh, that's what I need. And I need that, that, that. Ah! Damn it. So I need to do that, 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 that. Oh, look at that score. Okay. Treats? Treats. That's exactly what Warning. he's saying. Warning. Warning. Oh, is it treat ball time? Treat ball time. Oh, oh the ball. treat ball's loose, kitten. Thank you, Telsonani now. Yes, we okay. need to unleash we the treat ball. We will wrap this game up now. Okay. And okay. go to treat, full treat ball treat mode. Treat ball mode. All right, kitty. Are you hungies? Are you a hungies cat? I think he is. Let's see. Treat ball. And I will unpack Robot Zed. Thank you, Dave M. Zed, for coming in and explaining awesome. a couple of things we we're missing. Yes, thank you. That is a crazy game. It is crazy. It takes a little bit of getting used so to to figure out what's going on. Some puzzly, but it's also arcade action. Yes. Like fully arcade style. It's like Cubert and a puzzle game mashed together. It's very Cuberty. Yeah. Yes. But you decide when things switch. Yeah. Unlike Cubert, where you ha it does switch when you hop on it. <laughs> Are you looking for this? So congratulations, Look at him. Dave. Look at him in the box. He's like, oh. I know how this works. I'm in the box. I'm ready. Are you ready in the combat box? You ready for combat? Yes, he is. He's rubbing. Yep. Go for it. You ready? Treat ball. Get those treats. Get them. Okay. Next game we're going to be playing is Robot Zed, the retail version, and we're going to try and win. And I think I can. Once you get a good game going, yeah, you can continue with that game. You just have to build up to it. Yes, 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 yes. Um, because you can die in the game, but you can build up almost like energy in the game. Are those good treats? Are oh, those yummy treats? Are they good? Oh yeah, get those treats. Who did that? Chow Stony Mouth. Yeah, we Thank you so much. The combat maze. <laughs> Some yep. keep people kept requesting me make a combat maze out of it. And we just have to buy little tanks that oh, wind up. Oh, there you up. go. Oh, proc, proc full. Uh, we lost one of we lost our cat sprites. So yeah, unfortunately, we're down to away. one cat right now. Yeah, but we're still giving him treats. Yes, Atari He's still likes the treats. So very happy about the treats. Yes. 
Me... Yeah, and now I want the ball to be bouncing off the walls on the combat playfield. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to start up Robot Zed. Spry. It's made by Sprybug. So there you go. Okay. Oh, actually, this takes advantage of up as the second button. So this is actually the perfect joystick to use. For a second button? Yep. So there's one button for jump and one button for shoot. And you have a pea shooter to start with. And when you kill an enemy, it'll drop either health, which it just dropped. Ah, I didn't even see him there. Or it'll drop its weapon. Now those guys don't have a, an extra weapon. There you go. And then you go back and forth, and when you kill enough enemies, you'll progress to the next part. I don't remember the killing enough enemies, but that's interesting. Um, it's it switched from early, early, early versions to this. Oh, that was terrible. But you did it. So, program, music, graphics, manual, and artwork by Chris Spry. Th special thanks to Fred Quimby, Random Terrain, Revenge, Zero Page Homebrew, and Albert at Atari Age. Ah. Game testers, Prizak. Ah, you can't protect yourself. No. Nope. Oh, get to the edge and jump. There you go. He can't get you there. And you're going to be able to collect his weapon. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, it did. Okay, now wait. To switch to his weapon, mm. you bend down and press the fire button. I'll try again. There you go. Now you have his weapon. But did you see what his weapon did? It fired down like that. So now don't use it up too much because you only have a certain amount. You have seven. So there you go. You switch back to the pea shooter, which is unlimited. Uh... Eight health, five health left. There you go. Now you've got his weapon. And you have 17. And that's helpful for things that are below you, and it bounces along. Oh, what? Oh, no. Okay, there. <laughs> now, this one's a timing thing. You can do it with the pea shooter easily. Right after he shoots, jump and shoot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, so, the story. You've been activated, but it's an emergency activation. This only helps when something goes wrong and your help is needed. Where is everyone and what are these ro other robots hanging around? You've never seen them before. Where are your other robot buddies? Ah, there you go. Perfect time to use it. Oh, you got hit by it, the explosion of him. They explode and hurt you. What? Yep. So you, when you kill them, don't be too close to them. Okay, good, good to know. I forgot good about that. Um, Time to get to the main computer and find out where everyone is, what's going on. But first is Robot Zed. You must get to it. And it looks like these strange robots don't want you to get there. It's a good thing you have the ability to take the other robots' abilities when you defeat them. Oh, switch away from that. Why? Well, I would just switch to your pea shooter. Actually, there, there's a good use. What's your weapon? Oh. What's the shooting guy? Just a stronger weapon. Ah! Um... Okay, and it shows the um, controls. You can also use the Genesis controller uh, for this. If you don't have a dual button controller, it will work with the Sega Genesis. Right after he shoots. Because his defenses are down. So that's just a strong... Oh, perfect position for that guy. Nice. finish that level. Mm -hmm. So you have to finish, I think, two or three, and then you yeah. get to your main computer, and then you can pick which land to go to. Oh, you're in the wall. So, basic enemies. This guy is called a gunner. He runs and shoots and can fall from platforms. He gives possible health up. Um, the guy with that guy is called stills. Shoots and stays still. <laughs> Shields block shots and gives shield power up. 
Oh, that's what the red is. Shield yeah. power up. And your health is on the right, or the left, sorry. And your energy for weapons is on the right. That's a, that's a energy power up. Oh, you're using all your weapons up. You only have two left. You're out. Pea shooter time. So there, the white ones are health. Oh, that guy is a tosser. Oh, you're safe there. Good. Not for now. Oh, no, still safe. There you go. Uh, he launches bouncy bombs and gives the bo bouncy bomb power up. Oh, was he hitting you there? Yeah. Uh, the one with the Z in it is mega health. Oh, he can hit you from there. I would go up to the top and then draw, use, a, use his weapon on him. So you've, those are the number of sections complete. It is on the left, so you've done two sections. And that is the enemy health on the right. Oh, jump to the over. Ah, uh, oh. that's what I was and worried. Then get up top. There you go. And that guy is a stomper. Like he him. stomps around from above and drops energy waves. So you can He's probably really get hard. to the right and he won't get you. Wait till he shoots. Okay, there you go. Nice. And I think you're done that was health, with I the think. basics. Nope, one more. It was health that you got? Mm -hmm. mm. Now I want... I like the robot designs animations. They have a lot of character. Oh, yeah, they're great. Ah, ah! get down! And it's very Mega Man-esque with... Um, well, you'll see when it gets to the other part. Where you get to pick which land to go to. And that was uh, more uh, weapon power. Oh, weapon power? When it's glowing. Glowing orb is weapon power. Uh, white is health. And a Z and white is mega health. Nice. And you notice they need time to recover, so don't shoot, shoot double right away. Yeah. Shoot, wait, and then shoot again. Otherwise, you're just wasting bullets. Got him, one more shot. <laughs> Careful. Whew. Oh, there you go. There's the hallway. Is there a boss on this one? I can't remember. I think you have to get a little bit closer. Oh, oh, ah! Oh, you keep getting hit. Oh my god, stop it. Stop getting hit. You're almost dead. over them. No! Oh. Okay, you're I keep, done. I keep, yeah, no, I, well, you're the one who wants to <laughs> get to the so end. You're doing so well. Oh, it's hard. It's hard to jump. It's hard to time it. Here, read some more. Uh, it looks like the last digit of your energy is glitched. Is that from your console? Yes, it's my special console. <laughs> Fancy. What, uh, what, where were you at? Uh, where were you at? Um, oh, super. Nice. I was, flip some more, I did all those, um, if you could read those. Okay. Power-ups, health, plus five, mega health, has the Z in it. Uh, it's white. 
Um, and all the colors, of course, are the ability round things. Base area. Time to retake the base. There are four enemies in every section of the base that you must take out of commission before you're transported to one of the next sections. Robots with special abilities that you currently do not possess will drop an ability orb that will let you take on their power to use. Other robots will possibly drop a health increase. If you already possess the power of an opposing robot, it may or may not drop an ability orb. Once you decommission 16 robots, you will be transported into the leading hallway that is on the way to the boss room. Four times four. Yeah. Yeah. After defeating 16 robots, four in each section, you will be transported to the hallway that leads up to the boss's main quarters. In here, you will run into several robots guarding the room, including defense mechanisms. Once you get through this hallway, you will arrive at the boss room. Boss room. At the end of each level is the boss room, where Megabot is waiting for you. This robot is the leader that you must defeat. Megabot's movements and attacks are the same throughout the game. However, the level environment adds a challenge to the battle, so beware. Once you defeat the Megabot, you'll rescue your robot friend that has been deactivated. Your friend will be transported into the base's robot hold to be revitalized, while you head to the main base computer to configure your energy levels for the next level. Check on your robot hold and select the next stage where you will perform the next res rescue. Sounds very Mega Man to me. Yep. He's been playing this a lot more than me. <laughs> uh, base uh, control room at the, a beta tester, at the so. computer terminal in your home base. You can transfer your existing energy from one container to another. Check on your rescued robot friends and select which stage you want to transport to next. Expert, here you can transfer your health and ability points. Robo, check the robot hold room's camera on your friends. Go to select this to choose what stage you will be transported to next. Revitalization Chamber. If you run out of health but still have ability units, you will be transported to the base's Revitalization Chamber where it will transfer 10 ability units, or as many as you have if you do not have up to 10, and revitalize your health with them. You will then go back to the control room to further your quest. If you lose all your health on the home base stage, your game will be over. That's where the yeah. tactics come in. Since you no longer have access to the chamber, your game will also end if you have no ability points to transfer to your health. Yes. There are five different powers that you can get from the enemy robots. Once you get them and have ability points, you can switch between them by pressing down on your controller and the jump button. Your color will change depending on which power is ah. currently selected. Yellow, bouncy bomb. Red, shield defense. Oh my god. Destroyed by this guy. Cost oh, so the bouncy bomb costs two AP. Shield defense costs four AP per hit. One HP per hit does not protect against robot contact or explosions. Energy wave, that's the purple one, is three AP. Energy boomerang, which is the green one, is three AP. And the shower bomb costs two AP. Oh, damn it. Oh, you get one AP return when you catch an energy boomerang on your mist throw. Damn it! Oh my god. What am I gonna use on this guy? Six health left! Damn it. Hi, you wanna play? Oh, he's so purry. He's so full of treats right now. Is it red? So I can take him out at least? The rest of the cast. Here are some of the other robots you may encounter in the other stages. Chuck! has an energy boomerang, Floppy has a shower bomb, Arrow has a bouncy bomb, Batty has no weapon. Skitters has a weapon called Seek Shot, and Jaws has a weapon called Power Shot. They all look a little bit different. Oh, I don't need that, I need health. No! Oh, tiny bit of health. Oh, deadly. Please health. Please mega health. Ooh. No! Please mega health. <coughs> ah, nothing! More, more enemies, please. No. Is this a computer or is it a boss? No! Eight health with boss! No! Oh. 
Oh, God. Arr! It's once you make it past that. Yeah. That then it's much the game better. begins. You can and do it. So you can do it. Easier. I have faith. You can, you'll make it there. Oh, kittens. He's so furry. Yeah, my uh, console has a... Because I have the RGB board, and there's a bug in the RGB board where there's a delay timing, which... Oh, my God. What am I going to do? I have no powers. There. Yeah, he's, he's, he's impossible. Oh. Something. Hey, kitty. Oh, he's so loving, this cat. He just gives love. <sighs> yeah, yeah, shoot when I, as soon as I jump up. There we go. Oh, that's too close. He explodes. No, I need health. Oh, Nostalgic is out for the night. Good night, Nostalgic. Yes, have a good night. Thank you for joining. Atari, say good night. Say good night, Atari. Say good night. This is one of the games I was very excited for the release of. Mm. This is, it's, as soon as I make it past this to the main part, people will be much more excited. Because there's different worlds and there's different things going on in the worlds. Mm. Come on. Have we played this on the show before? Very long time ago. Yeah, very I, I early. Know we've played um, it. We played it when they, it was released okay. during Atari Age Day, but we didn't get like play play it. Yeah. I was I was thinking I know I played this not that long ago. Atari Age Day makes sense. Though. Yeah. So we didn't get a good chance because well, we only have like twenty minutes. Yeah. Well. Per ah no. These are the hard. Hardest guys are those guys. I know. Until you get, and some of it is, them. some of it truly is just luck, like who it's you get random. where. Yeah. It's very like random. Like the, the 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 power wave ones that with the purple thing that goes straight down. Those guys, if you're stuck beneath it, those they're terrible. <laughs> oh, absolutely terrible. These are the, these, are those, these guys, especially when they're walking away from you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, perfect. You die. You die now. Thank you. Nice. Now I can rain terror from above. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, nice. That's a good spot. No! Oh, let's start this. Yes, health. I need all the health I can get. <laughs> get lots of health. Way back there. Too far. Gets eliminated. <laughs> oh, yeah. Super health. 40. Health. Oh, Woo. This one's annoying. You never know where they're going to be. Oh, ah! no. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Oh. 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 Can I get him just on screen? Oh. At least you had a lot of health. Yeah. It's all about knowing which... Which power-up to have? Yeah, which power-up to use. Is he the top? Where is he? Come on. Sometimes you have to go all the way to the end mm. to clear the level to make the next guy appear. Ah. Run. Yes. Health. Two out of four. So did you play a lot of the Mega Man games back in the day? No. no. Unfortunately, I do love them a lot, but um, I need... I played Mega Man 2 for a bit. Nope, no. No, you no. can't hide from it. You have to get out, get out of the way. He can shoot straight down, but not to the side easily. Yes. Good job. <sighs> nothing. You give me nothing. <laughs> oh. I think the key is getting a bunch of extra health early on. Yes. Because you, you get hit. So important. It's really hard to not get hit, right? Like You get the wrong guy in the wrong place, and uh, that guy, you know what? I may be able to just clear him out. 
Yep, as soon as his health disappears, I think... No, he's still there. Does he... Does he... He's, he's, always he's there. there. No, once once they've drawn not, him in. Not always. Oh, that guy's stuck. No, he's there. You have what to get him. What am I gonna him. do? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, often, if you're close enough to him, he can't get you, but... Oh, yeah, that's your... Oh, it's it's a shield. It's a shield. The red is a oh, shield. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'll use on these guys then. Well, when you're below? Yeah. It does take... I mean, it does deplete it, but I'd rather have that being depleted than... It takes a big chunk of your ability. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't. Go around. Can you? No. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to jump up and then up. Jump it up. Oh. I can't get up here. Mm -hmm. You have to jump up on that ledge to get get to the right. No, oh, oh, you're God. gonna hit now. Kids. What am I gonna do? What's up? Looking for Bernie. Just have to time it. Yeah. There we go. There you go. That wasn't too bad. Out of ability points, though. Yep. Come on. So this is the hardest jump in the game to make. Oh. Just have to go back and forth and uh, take him out. Oh. Did he break yep. his full health every time? He does. Oh no! You have to. You have to get past it. You have to suck it up and get past yep. him. Stop it! Yeah. Just, yeah, now once you're down there, way. you're fine. You better give me some health. You better. Oh, back up the bed. So I don't explode. Oh, no! Well, I can use that as shield. Yeah, you needed ability points, so that's fine. Oh, don't shoot that thing. Help! Woot! Oh, you don't deplete? It just depletes when you get hit with yes. that one. Oh, so good. Yes. Oh, it's a good one to have. So it's good for the boss. It actually is good for the boss. But it does deplete your ability points. Yeah. You have to get under him when he jumps, for sure. Ah! Under him. No. Oh no. I almost oh, got no. him. I got oh, him. Oh, woo! Two health left. Oh my oh, god. That's not goodness. good going into the next part. But at least you go back to this level. Uh, Although you need ability points. Yes. I gotta you don't it. get any health back? No. <laughs> so you can transfer. Yes one to the other, and I'm going to transfer all to health. And, um... You can see your robots. Yep. Uh, there there are eight to get. Yep. Um, so we're just going to go to one of the zones. <coughs> there is Ice Zone, which is slippery, and yep. I don't want to go Welcome, there first. says Rod Castler. Thank you, Rod Castler. Mine Zone, Lava Land, Junkyard, Robot City, Seaway, Sandland, and Skyway. I don't remember which one's the easiest. Iceland? Might be Robot... No. No. It might be Robot City. I'm All gonna right. go there. Good luck. Thank you. We'll see. I just need some health. I need to get some easy easy enemies in. Oh, no. The baddies? I think that green is deadly. I think green is deadly. Oh, I'm so in trouble. Oh, boy. This isn't the right one to get. Oh, yeah. that's an easy guy. Okay. Can jump Come on in. down. Oh, oh. <sighs> that was that was needed. Oh no. You can get up and over? God. No. From the other side, um, maybe? Um maybe. <gasps> oh, what oh. happened? 
Did that hurt you or no? Did you bounce? I can't get up there. Did you bounce? Yeah, I bounced up from hitting the green? Green, green stuff. Did it hurt you? No. Yeah, it did. Did it? Yeah. It was... Maybe not. Oh, no, that's bounciness. I forgot. That's how you get up. Mm. Okay. Oh, you can't get that way. Okay. How do I get up here? Uh, oh, you, you just can't. get up. So bouncing over it is something you need to do, so you don't get bounced up. No, no don't bounce there. No! There we go. Okay, I gotta get him to shoot, and I bounce up and then fall down. Don't! Oh, more health. This is not a bad one to, to play on, actually, as a second one. There's no, there's mm -hmm. no bad dangers. What do I have? Purple. It takes quite a bit of ability. To land. Good. Oh god. Oh, he's raining. Raining hell on me. Yeah. What am I gonna do? I jump and then jump. If I go to that left spot, it might be okay. <gasps> Get out of there. Ah. You gotta run. Yeah, done. Oh! There we go. That's what I wanted to get to. Come on! Oh my god! Jump down. Hit the... the... Oh, there you go. Ah! <laughs> No! At least I have 10. Yeah. <sighs> Hello back to Chile! Yay! Speaking of ET, I just finished Once Upon a Time by Howard Scott Warshot. It is pretty good. It is a good book. Hey, Chris. Oh, it automa Bobby. automatically transfers. Robo says for Jitsi. <laughs> Speaking of ET, I just finished Once Upon Atari. Oh, nice. Yeah. We're going back to Robosity. Robot City? Yeah. Yeah. I like Robot City. Yeah. Do you like Robot City? I like Robot City. It's like, I want to eat the robots. Are They'd they be very tasty? crunchy. Crunchy robots. Ah, 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 ah. <gasps> oh, yeah, I can drop down. Yeah. Damn it. Ah, nothing. Oh, do I have... Oh, I lose all your abilities. Oh, no. Oh, what am I going to do? I think I'm just going to have to drop down and shoot him when he's up the right-hand side. Yeah. Are you going to go to the right-hand side? Nope. He refuses. Can I get a different? Ten? <laughs> uh. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? He doesn't even go fully to the right. Can't even drop down and just try to shoot him a lot. Because he's so fast with his bullets. Oh. No! Stop going into that green! I want it to go to the right. And then I want to drop down and go past him. I don't know if that's going to help. Not really. What am I going to do? Stop it! Stop it! There. Five left. <laughs> gonna be, I don't know it's how It's going to be game over! Oh, I can't get him in five. <gasps> One. Well, at least you can transfer it over when you die. Oh, that's true. When I die. Oh, God. Bounce no. up all the way. No. No. I'm in a good spot here. No. Oh. I'm in a very good spot. Bouncing up, I would be not be able to get him. Hmm. Ah, flying dudes. No, no. Oh, oh it fell. Oh, get it. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Uh. Oh, oh, good night, Pseudographics! Good night! Okay, Mr. Dude. Fall down. Nice. Nothing. I need help. Nothing. Okay. I can get here. Maybe. 
Can I jump up? Yeah. Oh, nice. I can't believe I recovered from one health left. <laughs> oh, boy. Oof. Oof. Okay, let's just take it easy here. Can't get him there. He's not coming past. What does he do? He shoots straight? He shoots straight. Okay. Or no, it looks like he does kind of shoot down. Hmm. I'm gonna have to bounce up. Oh, he does shoot down. Yeah. <gasps> They're like, Good. oh, you need health. Yes, I need a big health, please. Oh, good. Oh, an ability, thank you. It's good to have at least one. Oh my goodness. <gasps> yes! Back in business. Back in business. Oh, good. Come on, dude. Nothing. Is not what I want. Damn it. Can I erase him? Oh, I can. Nice. Don't know if you can erase him, but. Okay, you yeah, shoot. Yeah. Can I induce you to shoot? Yes, perfect. Fall. Nice. Just enough time to get him after he shoots. Got his ability back now. Protection. Yeah, now you can probably get that guy if he's still there. Yeah, he is. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to protection. And then just run it. Gun it. Gun it. Ooh. There we go. I have to hop over him and, and be what, on the same yeah, level as good. him. <gasps> Much better. Much better. Good game design when you can almost re when you can recover from, from almost, almost death. yeah exactly. it gives you a lit it's like getting lives without getting lives is transferring you can yep. transfer your ability over to the yeah um, health which is pretty pretty smart. Nobody recognizes the names I wrote. Oh, just in response to oh no I something didn't. Something Vitoko said earlier. I didn't recognize them, so I didn't have anything to say about them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's a good one. I'm assuming they are Brazilian. local game designers. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, that bear guy. To... Oof. Oh my god. You can get me from there? Yeah, he throws it really far. Do I have something that can get. I have his ability, Do don't you? I? I don't know. Do you? Isn't that him? Uh, it's not exactly the same. Oh, it's bouncy. That one might work. Oh. Damn it! Maybe if I go here. There. Oh, there you go. What's the blue one? I like my health. Is that a bomb? I don't know. Where's the? Where's oh, the? Don't thing? put it on the couch where cats can get it. No, no, I know. He likes to roll on it and squish it. Uh, shower bomb. Oh, that's raining from above. I think so. Okay. Okay, yeah. shoot your bullet. That will be helpful. Oh, the, the developers of Montezuma's Revenge and Boulder Dash. Oh, really? Ah, wow. Very cool. Okay, I'm going to put protection on right away. Oh, I believe Howard Scott will also video conference in for the expo. Oh, that nice. is very, very cool. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, it's the boomerang guy. Damn it. That's close. You gotta stay close to him or he, his health comes back. Right. Doesn't it? Or he disappeared. Oh, he did disappear. He's oh, gone. He's gone. Okay. I'm gonna see, keep it on this guy. For now, yeah. Should I? The other ones take out more health, right? Um, if I use the other bullets. Uh, so, I mean, the bouncy one's really good. 
the yellow bouncy one because it bounces on the floor. Well, what's for a the rain? Distance. Is the blue one raining from? Bouncy bomb is cost. It only says what it costs, not what it delivers. I bet it, it's equal. Like. Yeah. How much does it take? Two. Okay. Bouncy bomb is two. The energy wave is three, but you have to be above them. No. The shower bomb is two. That's what I'm gonna use. Shower bomb. But I don't know. What is the shower bomb? That one? Yeah. Mm. Ooh, bouncy. Ooh. Switch. To the red one or? Yes. There. <gasps> no! What? Oh, what? Did you switch? Five left? Oh, no. Ugh. I switched, but not in time? Or I used up all my energy? Pretty good with that. Mm. <laughs> okay, Robot City again. Five. Uh, and all my weapons are gone. <laughs> Please give me something easy. Up. That's something. Yeah! No! I like how he blinks. Blink. Robot said, blink, blink. Come on. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no. I'm gonna give it one more go. One more go? Okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna get some water. I'm gonna be right back. Okay. Need anything? Um, uh, you can get the paper craft if you want, or you want to leave that for another day. Leave it for another day. Okay. It's all good. You were shot last second by the boss while changing color. That's what I. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's. Let's see if we can do this a little bit better this time. Can I jump that high? Oh, come on! What am I supposed to do? Come on, shoot! Shoot! Oh my god, as soon as I jump, he shoots. There we go. Maybe I just need to be further away. Can I get him? Oh, I can get him from here. Damn it! There we go. Come on. It's gonna disappear. Oh, I have shield now at least. Oh, that guy. Oh, my god, run! You can get him from here, you can't shoot that far. Still there. Can I induce a different guy? No. How am I gonna get that guy? Just gonna have to shield it up, I guess. Oh, this is terrible. Ah! ah. You like peanut butter pretzel? No. No. Nope. All right now. Okay. Yes, please, now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! Ah! Mmm! Mmm! Oh, God damn it! have to get up to his level very quickly. Yeah. Mmm. Can't buy pretzels are the best. Mmm, so good. Mm-hmm. Yummy, 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 yummy. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, why is he? No, why is he? They always put him up high. Because, I mean, obviously that makes sense. Yeah, Rod Castler says, I always wonder what would have been to have these games back in the day. Can you oh. imagine? Mind blown. Boom. My poor mind, it is blown. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah, this would be a system seller game. Mm-hmm. Give me something. Two <laughs> guys in a row, nothing? Ah. Damn it. Okay. Last pretzel? Mm-hmm. Thank Here. you. <laughs> Better pretzels are the best. Mm. I have the cure for you. Have some of that. Kittens. Kitten. So the the purple one does take more points than the yellow, the bouncy. Right. If you have the yellow. Yes, please assist the player. This is not an easy task. <laughs> this is not easy. Ooh, how many voices does the music have? Good question. It's really awesome. I, I think it's just two. Mm -hmm. I think it's just... Um, I don't think this is not DPC or DPC plus. Mm. I think it's EF and it's just two voices. I believe it's a 64K cart. Ooh, give me some softballs. This is great. But combined with uh, SFX. I think it drops out one of the channels mm. um, when it does the sound effects. That makes sense. It's always hard because there's nowhere to hide. Yep. It's all timing and jumping. Oh, damn it. It's okay. I'm doing pretty good. Yep. Oh, damn it. Nothing. Give me another guy. Mm. Okay. Boss time. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stay you on got this. got the red. I think that's perfect because you can just shoot. So it's total. I have 25. Plus 19 Ability health. points. So every time he hits you, you lose three. Is it? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. Ow. Jump. Yeah, that's how you Look do my it. Health. It's terrible. Oh, he just destroys health. How did my health go down when I have shield? Is something getting past the shield? One does. Like the bullets do? One hit gets past the shield. Or him directly. Oh, okay. Um, all health. Maybe. Maybe two. Yeah, you'll get you'll get your ability points back. Going back to Robot City. Yeah. Yep. Stick with what you know. Yep. Um. Not terrible at it. <laughs> Drop. Oh, no. I'm on his level. Stay on the level. Stay on the level. Give me something. Yeah. I like that. Now we'll go back to protection. Okay. I'll wait till he passes. Shoot him in the back. That's what Oh, does. yeah. <laughs> nope. Ooh, okay. can just induce everybody over here. Or not. No. It's not, it's not cooperating. Because I thought I could walk over it because I was able to walk over that. Yeah, you but are. It, but it hits the green. That's the problem. That's good to know you can walk over a uh, yeah. sing single... If you're moving. Oh, God. Oh, what do I do with this guy? Uh... Oh, I have to bounce up. Sorry. Just hammer. I don't know. Ooh. Good. Oh, no, I don't want to be here. I don't know 
where I want to be. Damn it, I'm gonna have to jump over his bullets. Thing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, so stingy. <laughs> what do I have? That um, purple works, but you might have it. Running out of energy. Ability points. Deadly. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do, do anything with him. You just, just have to get it on his level really fast. He's like know. the um, purple guy. This game requires strategy and reflexes. Great balance. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And peanut butter pretzels. And peanut butter pretzels. Yay! Some health. Thank you. Roll of the dice. Oh, okay. Go back. Again. What are you going to throw at me? Damn it! I have trapped I'm you in the so wall. Dumb. Ha ha ha! Yep. All part of my plan. Is it hallway time? No. Not quite. Oh, there's a ceiling! Oh, bastard. Cheater, cheater. Take. I'm there. I shot him as I fell down. Oh! It was just very, very lucky. Oh no, I don't like this guy. He shoots down. Oh, god damn. He I shoots down. Oof. Nothing? Really? Really? It's very mean. Completely unfair. Thank you. Yeah. Hallway with 19 and 20. Okay, One. time for me to pass out. Catrice okay. will require someone else to pay up. <laughs> have fun, gang. Thank you, Chow Stony Mal. Thank you. Have a good night. A Atari says thank you. Yes, he does. Okay, we're going to go with this. Don't shoot that. Oh. Yes. No. No. It's just reflexes. It's better to shoot. Mm. Okay, 24 and 21. Oh yeah, this is the second boss. Oh. I still think this is a good tactic. You lose ability points really fast with the when he hits you, so just I know I know that's easier said than done. Yeah. But... Ow. Oh, down to three. Damn it! Damn it! How did you die? I think it had 14 health. Every time I hit him, it hits me directly. Oh, it just I took you had out. more in there. Okay, well. No? Are you going to... Should I just try a different one? Try it. Show off a different one. Uh, something is not deadly. Uh, they're all deadly. Well, lava point. has like things you step in, which is so hard. Mm. Ice? Uh, Slippery? Yeah, sure. We'll do Slippies. ice. Slippies. Slippery ice stone. Are there that. penguins? No. Hmm. <gasps> well, that's the end of that. I don't know what to say no, about no. that. <laughs> what happened? I don't know what to say about oh, that. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, needs an update. Well, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, I think I'll have to report that to Sprybug. Oh, okay. I don't know if he's going to be too happy about oh, that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well. Yep. Yes, yeah. yeah, broadcaster's like, okay, <laughs> let's have a final treat time. That's the indicator for Bug, the treat Bug time. Bug is correct. 
Bug is correct. All right, Kitten, are you ready for round two of Let's seeing how many treat you treats you can mouth. stuff down your throat? Yes. The call has been heard. The cat has arrived. <laughs> yes. Let me yes, close kitties. the door. You're, you're, you're not a... You don't... So, predictions have bolt. started. Place your bets on the cat. Yes. So, so you're aware it is a single cat. Single cat, single bell. Prediction. He has two minutes. Two minutes. And how many treats he can eat in two minutes? Last time he got eight or nine. He was in that category. Yes. To be fair, he has eaten a lot of treats. And so had catnip. You got to balance it all which out. Which slows him down as well. It does. Or the catnip might give him the munchies. So while. we'll see. We'll see how he does. He always likes treat. He always has an appetite. Yeah. So put place your bets. Ooh, how much? Put it at twelve. Oh, twelve plus. Someone I think thinks... he has the munchies. Yes. Put some bets. Two gambles in one night. What a night, says Chitlin. Yeah. <laughs> put some cool. bets, dude. Oh, we're almost all covered. Oh, Nobody's put good. on 10 and 11, which good. is a possibility. He click, was getting up there. Click that predict button. Get in there. Put your yep. thoughts down. Got a minute left. The only one that hasn't been chosen is 10 to 11. So it's an easy win if you just throw 10 on yeah, there. Yeah, you can always throw 10 if you haven't bet yet. not much of a loss. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's so rubby. He's so happy. Everybody's got it's a big yeah. bet on 12 plus. Yeah. And scattering around 1 through 9. Yeah. Nothing on 10, 11. That might be one to throw in at the last second. Yeah. I'm just going to put in that harmony card so it's not flickery. Oh, there you go. Causing havoc. Cat havoc. Treat havoc. Well, you got uh, 30 seconds left. Yeah, we're getting down there. So Place you're... your bets. Oh, someone put 10. Oh. Excellent. We got all the bases all covered. covered. So you're going to do better 20. or worse this time? Hmm? Better. You're hungry? Are you hungies? <laughs> he's hungry. Looks like he's hungry for treats. And it is over. All right. So Look. we got a little bit in every category and then a big bet on 12 plus. Okay. Are you hungies? Are you going to go for the 12? You going to try and get that guy some yep. money? Yeah. Oh, he's very, very focused. Okay. Oh, one wow. right, out the, right off the he bat. He is hungry. The time has started. Yep. One. Two minutes of count are counting down. Oh, one. that's right. Yep. Thank you. Next. One is on the board. Oh, he's missing it. He's got two, two on the board. Two and ten seconds. Pretty good. Pretty right, good. Kessler. See, my timing was perfect. The cats love me. Yeah. Harder. Harder. There, there we you go. go. That's three. three. Down to one minute thirty. I'll get the time on the screen next next episode. Yeah. I don't know why it's not going on the it's screen. It's being a little... Four. Four. Oh, my goodness, cat. He's got to make it out of the first category. We're at 120, 1 minute 20. Five. Five. He's still in the first category, but I'm sure he's going to make it out of there. 1 minute 10 seconds. Come on. Don't stare at us. There we go. Six. He's in the second category. All right. 59 seconds. He has a chance to get 12 if he keeps it up. Come on. Seven. Oh, he batted that one around a bit, but he got it in the he end. He got it. He's eaten it. <laughs> Rod Castler. Come on, hit it. I have my faith. <laughs> 44 seconds left. He's up to eight. <laughs> what and are you doing, you crazy cat? He's batting it around. We're at 35 seconds. Oh, kittens. Can he get four more? That would be very tough, but not impossible. Well, it's going to be impossible if you just stare at the wall. Come on. Oh, he's trying to get it out of his teeth. He's got it stuck in his teeth. Eight or no oh, oh nine. nine. He's got eighteen seconds left. If he gets one more, it'll get into the second to top category. Twelve seconds. Ten. Come on. Ten. Oh, he's at about up to ten now. I don't Six, think he'll make five, it. Five seconds four, left. Three. Two, one, ten for Atari. Ten. All right. Let's give you a couple extras. Yeah, there I think you go. The categories are pretty good. Yeah, I think so. So what did he get the first time? Eight. Eight, I think. And then ten. And I then can't remember ten. the first time, but. So he was. All hungrier. right. So who bet on ten? He didn't quite make twelve. I feel like if he was on his game, he could though. Do you yes, know what I, mean? I think he could. I think he could. Some of these were batted around. Some of them, he took a little bit of time to get one out of his teeth. 
So we made it to 10. Let's see who got 10. Prow 7 and Chitlet Law. Oh Congratulations. My congrats. Chitlet Law and Prow 7. Get to split that Did box. Did Prow 7 win last time too? Who won mm, last time? He might have. He'll have to tell you. I don't know. Good job. Woohoo! Woo Chitlet Law. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, so let's take a look. <laughs> yes, please give him, give a, him tooth. a toothpick. He, he did, did Pro 7. Good job. Good picks tonight. Yeah, you know how to pick them. Okay, so let's take a look at what's coming up on the show. Excellent. Um, so Friday, there's no show. We'll be back on Tuesday yes. with Tanya again. Yep. Maybe an 8-bit day. It's looking like that if Tony arrives in the mail. Okay. Um, let's see, uh, the next day after that, the next Friday, we're definitely going to be playing Bernie in the Tower of Ooh. Doom, exclusive update, a whole bunch update. of new sections and oh, levels. Oh, good, because I, I think it was very limited on the sections, the one we, ones we've played, so I'm excited to see more areas. you won't be there. Well, that's okay. I'll yeah, be excited to watch it. So. And Super Pro <laughs> Racers as well. It's mm -hmm. a car racing game. It looks like a lot of fun. And then the next Tuesday, Developer Spotlight and Steve Engelhart. We're planning which games right now that Tanya will be playing while I talk to Steve Engelhart. I'm excited and we for go that. through his full catalog mm -hmm. of development. And plus a get out of here, Garfield. <laughs> I have no interest in watching you. Um, uh, Secret Homebrew. Mm. New homebrew for the 7800 from Steve Englehart will be unveiling on that show. That sounds exciting. Then maybe a Lynx Day. Those might switch mm. depending if that Tony game Rice. arrives. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then coming up later, no times for this. Yeah, I still haven't changed the six for June. Um, Secret Homebrew from Champ Games Exclusive World Premiere. Still waiting. Still and waiting. Interview with John Champo. Mm. Yep. Uh, still waiting for that. Uh, Developer Spotlight, Lawrence Stavely. That might come first, actually. Um, because um, the game we are going to be playing uh, at the end of his Developer Spotlight is almost done. Jumping at Shadows. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I'm doing some beta testing on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, is it good. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, is it ever good. Mm -hmm. um, you will love it for the Jaguar. Um, so that might be at the end of July. Okay. So I'm, I'll talk with him and see if that works for him. Excellent. Oh, yeah. there he is. There's Cyrano. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is damn good. <laughs> it's a platformer and it's, oh, it's such a good platform. It is good. Um, and then Chris Walton, developer spotlight at some point. Um, so, ah, no, no hovering. <laughs> so lots of amazing shows coming up. Mm -hmm. um, so what do we play? Packline times eight. Fun little. Awesome! Uh, I loved it. Yeah. Yeah, great. Uh, I really want to play with eight players. Yeah. I don't know how we would ever swing that, but we'll have to figure Not something happening. out. Not happening. Maximum four, probably. <laughs> we'll include that on our next multiplayer. We'll have to try and. Day. We'll have to see if we can get eight people at uh, like the Portland Retro Gaming Expo to play. Oh, that would, that be, would fun. be very good. Yeah. Yeah. Eight That's player, a possibility. Eight player, eight player, like. So Thomas Yench can uh, see it in action. Yeah. Eight there, I'll, I'll, fil be, I'll film it. There've got to be a few. Well, there's there's that one, and of course, um, uh, what's the Zoom 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 right? Vroom. Vroom. Yeah. Yeah. I, he did see that being played at some point. I think at PRG. Okay. Eight people. I think. Yeah. Flap Ninja, very challenging. Mm. Sadly, it crashed. Very sad. So back to the drawing board on that one. Uh, Flap Ninja? Fix it. Yeah. Uh, oh, Bef Robot Zed, you mean? No, both of them. Did Flap Ninja crash? Yeah, I I um, made it through the last moving pipe and it reset. Oh, I saw that, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Um, frazzled, great uh, mm -hmm. puzzle, action puzzle game. <laughs> confounding but fun and yep. somehow even though you're not really sure what's going on you kind of get what's happening so yeah. i there's something about games like that that are that are a lot of fun so yeah robot said oh, yeah. i love it so much um yeah. unfortunately i'll have to uh let Sprybug yeah. know that it crashes at least on my system mm -hmm. uh, mostly plays well when did it crash during oh. ice the ice level ice level when i teleported i'll have to look back yeah so, uh, well, yeah. it's recorded, so there it is recorded. That's yeah. a good thing that it's always recorded. Yeah, um, so two people to tell that uh, there's issues with the mm -hmm. games. Luckily, Flap Ninja's still in, still being made. Yeah, <laughs> um, 
so that's it. It's uh, Tuesday, so everybody have a great week. Yep, and uh, we will see you next week. Not yeah. on Friday, but we will on see you Friday. next week. Unless we can cram in a after dark in there somewhere but uh, it's possible because you know likely but possible well we'll I be think. we'll be home on uh canada day you could always yeah. are there any canadian themed uh, games out there i don't know yeah. but uh uh so let's see we still have some 7800 games to play too so oh adari beer adari beer pong is broadcasting excellent so we are going to be raiding atari beer pong yay uh, usually plays some Atari ST games. Looks like he's continuing on his uh, RPG mission. Thanks for tuning in, Rod Castler, Cyrano, Dan, Prow, Seven, uh, Chitlet La, Rendered Ghost, 8 Bit Poet, Vitoko, Pseudo Graphics, uh, Kobeli, uh, Crypto Coffee, Nostalgic, Proc FL, Chalcedony Mel. Oh, I've said you. Dave M, thank you for your game. Mm -hmm. Very challenging. It's Kev, double down. We used your joystick all night. Uh, it worked very well. Excellent. Yeah. Um, Be a Arena Foot. Arena I foot. haven't seen Arena Foot in a long time. Rare appearance. Yes. Atari 1974. Beer Pocock. Lots of people. Lots of, yeah, lots of chatters today. D Train, Polygon. D Train. Yes. Rendered Whoa, Ghost. So many chatters. I'm sure I'm and repeating that's... people, but lots of people today. It was a wonderful yep. show. Yep. Lots of chat. Had a great time. Um, so uh, that's it for us. Yes. Be back in a week. Yes. Or maybe earlier. We'll see. For an after dark. Maybe we'll try. Well, we won't try Robot's Ed because he just crashed. <laughs> but uh, we will be back with uh, maybe the 7800 continuing with the um, part three. Yes. Final part. Yep. Um, so we're out of here. Yep. Have a great week. Have a great week. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.